crazy. You guys know each other's doing? The Obi and Anthony show. Uh, uh, a bunch of people in for the vacationing. Greg Opie Hughes. He's down in the outer On banks. holiday. The yes. OBX. He's on holiday. On holiday. At least he's not at hospital. Yeah. English, English are weird. Uh, Bill Burr just joining us. Hello. How, How are, are you, you, Bill? I am. I am. Uh, I am happy to be here. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes. That's all I got. That's, I'm just going to be. I'm in, I am in a great mood. You're happy to be here. Are I'm you in a great, great mood? mood? I am a great mood. That's you can believe. I, I uh, taped Letterman last night, so it went Ooh. well. I got that whole monkey off my back. You got that done. Is it on yeah. Friday? Uh, Thursday, it's going to show. Thursday night, okay. But whenever I do that show, I either have a nightmare that I bomb, or I just have like a twenty-minute meltdown where I'm like, "What the fuck? Why do I? You know, why don't I just be a manager? I could be that guy standing in the green room eating cookies, going, go ahead, go get him, son.' Taking his money, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, it went well. He had oh, enough great Letterman's though. Louis had one years ago. I think that wasn't good. Attell had one that wasn't good. Like you, you've had enough. Where? Oh, I know the bad one's coming. No, you no, just no never know when. It's like being a relief pitcher. That's what. <laughs> Doing those four and a half minute things, it's just like, all right, joke, you walk the guy, you have like one bad joke, all right, you know, just keep plowing yeah. ahead. But no, uh, I don't mean you. Have, I, I mean, even if you were to, uh, you, you're kind of. I think you're in there where they know that you're a great comic and it's not going to hurt you there. Like a lot of guys, if you fuck up, there you're done. But it's done. Like you're beyond you're out. out there. They know I, you're I think I think I'm still. Uh, I think I'd still get traded. How many have you done? <laughs> this is your eighth one, right? No, no, six. Six? Okay. So I'm right still on nice. the, uh, um, you're right on that. So you're right there. You could still screw it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, but not you know, this one. You know, uh, Mike Baker? Uh, hey. We just met. We just met. Yeah, we just Mike, met. Uh, well, Mike, Mike's been here. We wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, Tripoli situation, this Gaddafi thing. You know, because Mike. Oh, yes. CIA. Oh, okay. That guy. So I imagine once, now everybody knows. Once, I, I know, once Gaddafi's right? out, then I imagine then it's just all going to be happy. Yeah, right? that's like, going to be great. I, yeah, oh, everybody's it just, already is. <laughs> everybody's yeah. just going to put their guns down and yeah. just start arms. It's, and, it's perfect. It's, in fact, I'm surprised uh, that you're not out there right now collecting your free weapons because that's what I they're doing. Be. They're handing out weapons from the armories that they've overrun yeah. to citizens. They're, they're, they're putting out the call saying, come out. If you don't have a weapon, come out and get one. And, and I think really, to your point, <laughs> like everything's going to go very well now. Yeah. <laughs> the, now they have like, an armed yeah. citizenry, which yeah. is great. Yeah. And uh, from what I've seen, the looks of the rebels uh, as they, they have their victories uh, they look like people who really know how to handle the government. And, no, they don't. You know, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what, what? What are you talking about? Firing AKs up in the air? Yeah, it's good. Uh, and, and, and chanting it's, Allah. It's, it's like guys into... in a bleacher at a, at a baseball game are now going to try and, and, <laughs> right. Yes. Right. and go in there. And, uh, well, I guess we got to worry about the oil infrastructure. Come on, let's get going. Yeah, 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 they're going to get, get right let's on get pumping that. pumping that oil again and selling it. And don't we have to have a central bank? And what should we do next? Mike, haven't we? seen in the past that sometimes uh, a, a people's need a dictatorship, especially one that's had a longevity like uh, Gaddafi has had. It's very hard to think that this word freedom mm. is this all fixing band-aid to put on a broken population when, in essence, they've only known uh, a, a, a tyrannical leader. Right. And you can't just hand them guns and the word freedom and make it work. Oh, it sounds good. It yeah, sounds yeah, great, but look yeah. at Iraq. Uh, that that didn't work. Uh, really? As far as I see, no. So you're, ne so you're, so you're negative on Iraq. I'm <laughs> negative so on Iraq. I always Iraq. thought it was going really, really well. I, I don't yeah. think, yeah. <laughs> I don't think people can, can fight for their own freedom if they don't start it themselves. You can't have somebody say, hey, you want to be free. And they go, no, we just don't want the guy that's in charge to chop our heads off. So we go to work every day. We do this. Uh, we try not to get gassed by him. And uh, we just lead our lives. It's, it's under a regime of, you know, terror. But eh, that's what happens in the world. There's plenty of them. We don't jump in every one. Every despot out in the Middle East is smacking their head, thinking, "What? What the hell happened? How did? How did this? In six months, how did we all, you know, lose the good life?" Yeah. And and Gaddafi is is an interesting situation because since what 2003, he renounced weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. And he he took uh, credit <laughs> in his mind. That's what he did. He took credit for Lockerbie. We all knew, you know, that they were responsible. Yeah. But they finally took the uh, responsibility for it. And so from about 2003 or so, he was our guy. 
theoretically. We were working, you know, to bring him into the fold, and he was supposedly doing all the things he was supposed to be doing. Meanwhile, you got a guy like, I don't know, you know, Assad over in Syria, mm -hmm. who, you know, never met a protester he didn't like to shoot, uh, <laughs> who's got yeah, more blood on his hands from, you know, participation in terrorism around the world than, than Gaddafi could ever hope for. And, yeah, we do nothing there. So there's a bit of there's this weird inconsistency that's been going on. And... I don't know. It just—it's it, not going to. It's, it's, I don't think, unfortunately, it's not going to end well in in Libya. We already see the problems in Egypt that are developing. Yeah, because there's—it's never this from one regime to another uh, transition. Mm. There's a lot of shit that happens in between. Uh, where there's uh, clashes between different factions that want to be in charge and uh, instability. And then usually, especially in the Middle East, you wind up getting somebody that we never get along with anyway. Right. And you got, you got, you got to have somebody who can make the trains run on time. One of the problems they've mm -hmm. got, in the, whether it's Egypt or, or, or Tunisia or anywhere else, is you create this incredible expectation of change, right? Wait, 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 what's that sound like? And, and, uh, <laughs> and, and hope. Yeah. And all of a sudden... You know, nothing changes, and you just got a different cast of characters in there mm -hmm. at the trough, you know, stealing shit, and the, the people... <laughs> it's like you over know, here. To, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was that's exactly, exactly, exactly the one Democrat, <laughs> Republican, it makes no difference. It's, just, it's the same, same thing. Everybody's saying, and we're going to get you jobs. Hand in the till. Yeah, everything's going to be great. <laughs> Stand by. Yeah, the only thing we don't get here is our free weapons. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that they try to really... Has there ever been an over... When was the last time... That there was an overthrowing of of a of a government, and then that there was this there was peace afterwards. That it's about seventeen seventy six. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the last yeah, time. Yeah. And then uh, they got yeah. into some. Shit How the hell after did that. we pull that off? I don't know, but when you think about it, there was still you know right after that there was uh, another war, and 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 then eighteen twelve we got in a little more shit, and you right. know so so it was we kind of we kind of had our guy kind of a big civil yeah. war going on. But we I mean, did, did they have their George Washington going across the Potomac over there, and everybody's like, all right, that's our guy, and <laughs> these, yeah, these yeah, are yeah, our documents. Was... Are they so beaten down and tortured that their idea of freedom? Is uh, when you stone no somebody, we only yeah, use the little charge. stones. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom, yeah. <laughs> and that, that was one of my earlier points, is they don't have an understanding of freedom like we have an understanding. And we are so fucking pompous, mm. and our government is so pompous to think that we could just shove it down their throat, and they'll be like, this is great, just because we enjoy this freedom. They don't give a shit about have. them. They're going no. over there to get their stuff. That's all they're doing. But we never end up getting their stuff. The the whole get their stuff thing is bullshit. Oh, I'm not saying it's working. We <laughs> never get it. <laughs> but, but, just but, but there's a motive there. Yeah, the there's a motive. for oil, man. Yeah. It's the war for oil. Yeah, at $5 a gallon. Why all My this Escalade's a... great when I'm fucking pumping there and I'm getting a cramp. I'm getting oh, well, No, they're, they're not getting it for you. Oh, they're, they're, they're getting not... it for them. They Who's get this? it for them. Who's, Who's this them? them? Oil, the them? oil companies? They drill. They have plenty of it. They're doing fine. Oil, oil companies, companies and politicians. Oh, there you go. There's the a great point. Are, the politicians <laughs> they are drill. Bank. They yeah, got yeah. plenty <laughs> of it. Oh, Jesus. There's the end of that debate. <laughs> they don't have to take another country's oil. They're doing fine. Every oil oh, company's Jesus profits Christ. are through the roof. You know, I roof. thought we were going to make it to 830. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought we were going to. Every oil company's profits are through the fucking roof. So why do you have to go over? And do you think an American company is going to go in and, and get Libya's oil? Look, you know, do I, we I, have Iraq's oil? We why, don't. why are we interested in Libya, though? My theory is because... In 10 fucking years, we don't have their oil The yet. embarrassment over that, uh, whoever, the, the Lockerbie bomber being turned over right. and him being made a hero in Libya. It, uh, to me, that's the only reason I can think why we now give a shit about Gaddafi when we didn't give a shit about him for 25 years. Well, you know, we were, we were kind of muscled into this. We came late to the party mm. in Libya, anyway, and the, the French jumped in there immediately. And the French have a long, you know, the Europeans have a long history and, and certainly more interest in Libya. There. We don't have any strategic interests in Libya, despite the talk about the oil. And here's something. I think everybody should have to, to work for the government for at least a year or two years in some capacity. And then we would learn that you know there, there's usually not the Byzantine, we're going to go over there and, and, and take their shit. It's usually, and, and this, this is going to sound odd, but we tend to do things because we, we honestly believe it's the right thing to do at that moment. As, as fucked up as the idea may be, we, we tend to do that. Now, and then we also tend to be a bit of a self-correcting nation. It may take more time to turn the ship, you know, mm -hmm. uh, than, than we'd like. But I, I think if everybody worked for the government for a period of time, you'd learn that, you know, A, you don't have the conspiracy theories that a lot of people think that we do have because, I mean, you couldn't, honestly, God, half the time you couldn't, 
you know, organized panic in a doomed submarine. <laughs> but, you know, much less keep a secret about trying to take over the world or somebody else's oil. But the problems we're going to have in Libya are the same problems we've had elsewhere. And mm -hmm. you've said it yourself. You know, the sort of this pompous hubris, you know, that, that, that has developed, whether it's Iraq, Afghanistan, the idea that somehow we're going to we're going to go in there and reshape and give them something that, uh, uh, you know, bottom line, they don't have a clue. They don't have what an the understanding hell of we're it. talking about. Yeah. You think Afghanistan, you think the Afghans are standing around going, geez, I can't wait to get some of this federal government and some of this uh, democracy that they're talking Starbucks about. Starbucks yeah. on every corner, That's on every fantastic. dirt road corner. Dude, I don't know why, <laughs> other than to try to get Osama, why you would go over there. It's like Russia lost, lost and they're landlocked with those maniacs. Yeah. Yeah. We're playing an away game over there. <laughs> an away game. It's yeah. true, you're right. <laughs> it's just like how... You, A they just, they just away game. Yeah, you gotta, you, they're just going to run into the mountains. They don't want us there. you got to kill everybody. That's the only way an occupation works. That's why it worked over here. And, and, and the yeah, years. The genocide. I'm not advocating it, yeah, but that's how. But, and, and we had no plans of leaving. But eventually you're going to leave, so they're just going to like, hang I, back. I, I like how I had to get the, the caveat in there. I'm not advocating it. <laughs> well, that's how it works yeah, now. Yeah, but you're right. But when you're you right. look at I mean, the, when the Soviet Union was in there. just be throwing genocide out there. They, yeah. they weren't. <laughs> the, wouldn't it be funny if it happened and they blamed you? How great would that be? <laughs> you know how powerful the show would be? <laughs> the, the, the Soviets were never. Ones for strategic bombing, not messing with mosques and hospital. They were carpet bombing motherfuckers yeah. in, in <laughs> right. Afghanistan. It so, says that on their and, license and, plates yeah, over there. Carpet bombing motherfuckers, and they C still BMF. didn't win. Right. Yes. No, you know, and they went in there, and and after about four years, they spent the next five years of that occupation trying to get the hell out. And right. we know that because we've you know we've seen a lot of the the strategy and paperwork that came out of the Kremlin during that period of time, mm -hmm. and, and they couldn't figure it out. They said, okay, how are we going to get the hell out of here? Well, okay, now we got to retreat to the urban centers because we can't hold the countryside. Uh, well, we'd like to get out, but how do we leave it behind a stable government that's going to pursue our interests? They're doing the same thing now. Yes. And, and we spent 25 years ago, we spent a great deal of time and, and, and effort and resource getting the Soviets pushed out of there. Arming the uh, people that were fighting. Yeah. Only to find ourselves back there 10 years later, acting as if somehow now we're going it's to different. do the yeah. same. Isn't it about yeah. saving face, too? I mean, it's about getting government that will cooperate and do what we want. Peace with honor. But is, 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 you know what? Isn't, I love Nixon. Isn't it also about not looking like an asshole as a country, like we got beaten up? And it just it seems like we like to stick our noses where it doesn't belong, mm. mind everybody's business. We're not willing to behave barbarically, like Bill, Bill said. Janice, we're not going to do that. Right. So that we fucking wonder why we're getting our asses kicked all over the place is because we're trying to be polite. We're fucking, we've turned into the ant. We're nudges. We're just putting, no, 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 it's too cold in here. We're just putting our faces in everybody's business, but we're not willing to strong arm for real, so we should just mind our business. Well, there's, there's yeah. also some guilt over the fact that we, you know, in, in some people's minds, we walked out after, after the Soviets, you know, left, that we... You know, in, in some people's minds, we abandoned, you know, the Afghan people. And so there was still some of that lingering guilt that allowed us to morph from what, you know, Bill, Bill's point. We went in there with a very solid, very purposeful mission, you know, uh, find the Al Qaeda, get them the hell out of there, route them as best we could, remove the Taliban. We did that by the February of March or so of 2002, you know, with 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 that operation done. Suddenly, it morphed into a nation-building exercise. Yeah, yeah, and and that doesn't work. It just doesn't work. You can't do it. Yeah. And, and like you said, yeah, just put up a couple of strip malls. They'll get it. <laughs> they'll, go, they'll love it. <laughs> they'll love it. Yeah, there it is. It it, it just it. it we we seem to be making the same mistakes over and over again, mm. and uh, so you're saying so history repeats research. itself. Ah, uh, it seems to. <laughs> it seems like me when I'm drunk. <laughs> it just repeats itself. <laughs> yes. Jimmy pointed that out the other day, and it's hilarious because I do it. Yeah, he's very entertaining. I, I have don't a few mind drinks. It. I'll say the same story five times in a row. <laughs> it, it's almost like when you leave a DVD on, and, and they just keep playing the fucking the opening promo with the same four scenes. At and least they, I'm not punching anyone. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, He's like Lodge Net. You know when you're in the hotel room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Welcome to Lodge Net. Yeah. I get like that. Uh what what do you think what do you think we should do uh in Libya? Now the, the well, second the oh. second Gaddafi is not you. <laughs> not you. The second Gaddafi Here's my is my five step plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is found, caught, killed, whatever it is. Uh and and he's out of uh, power. Now, are we to leave? Do we then leave and leave it to the French and whatnot to try to get that shit together? 
uh, what do we do? Well, we can't we can't leave is the answer to that. And and I know that, uh, you know, the president's been talking about how this was this was the Libyan people's effort and it's and, and they own it. Well, you know, frankly, without NATO and, and, and frankly, without our support of NATO's operations, yeah, they, they wouldn't be in Tripoli right now. And Gaddafi would still be absolutely now, the show. Now, now, wasn't this also initially uh, NATO went in there, and by NATO I mean American air air force and air power and uh, a French biplane. Mm -hmm. Because w when you're talking about airstrikes, it's our drones, it's our fucking planes. Stop it! Uh, yeah. What a mirage or two. Ooh, wow. Uh, but but to go in there, <laughs> and, and, oh, please. It's all it's you are all fucking our hilarious. Shit. It's all our shit. But, do you but, have a big global map on your wall in your oh, house? I do. Yeah. I do. Moving like pieces around. Yes, it's like Stratego. <laughs> I love it. it, it but but to, to, to go in there under the guise that we were protecting civilians, if you remember that, mm. that's why we were committing forces. It was to protect the civilians that Gaddafi's regi regime was uh, uh, killing. Then it turned into... You know, when, when the civilians have weapons and they're trying to overthrow a government, they're not civilians anymore. Right. Now you're backing a rebellion with your resources. And it's exactly what happened. Oh, we're just here to find weapons of mass destruction. Oh, they're not here? Well, we're here to give democracy and get this leader out of here. It's the same story all over yeah. again. And uh, I, I love the way, and I, I, I hate playing partisan politics, but I do love the way the Democrats never mention the fact that this is exactly the same thing. He went in with a bill of goods. It's completely not what it's ending up being. And we don't seem to be in a position where we're going to be able to pull out of this thing. And once the rebellion's done and the uh, administration, the Gaddafi administration is out, uh, how, what do we do? Diplomacy by drones no. and and planes. Now you stick Bobby Collins go. in there. He looks like Gaddafi enough, <laughs> and you just say this is a new and improved one. And he comes great. out. He tells some jokes. He'll leave you alone. Everybody chills out. <laughs> they said Gaddafi's gotten so nice. He called me babe and asked how I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're wearing the pullover V necks. Everybody loves that guy. That's what you bring in there. Would you say you went on uh, Gaddafi went on a juice fast? You know, skin's showing. Look, yeah, he's looking good. <laughs> Bobby really is. By the way, to digress for a second, he is that guy. Like he's a, you can't not like Bobby Collins Impossible. when you see him. Yeah, you can't. You think like, hey, whatever you want. You sit down and talk to him. Hey, how are you? And he's just, he's just has this nice weird guy. fucking can't, vibe to him. Can't yeah. help but work the room. He can't he's got the it. same haircut as Gaddafi. You bring him in there. <laughs> He, he just he apologizes for all the torture, and they're, they're gonna love him. They'll love him. Yeah. A couple of jokes. There you go. You, you, you give him one of those. You give, you give him one of those Vegas contracts. It sounds, Sign him up for a year. You know what? At least it's a plan. Well, you know what? I, I wonder if anyone's told this to the French. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, do you think though, after Gaddafi's gone, uh, that we will have to put people on the ground there? Because you, you like, like I said, With what it, money? It, it, money? Just print more. Just keep printing yeah. it. Well, that's, that's all what, he's got to do. But that's, that's a big question. The, the Obama administration right now is they're playing this very cautiously mm -hmm. because you know primarily because you know they don't know where this thing's going to go. I mean, it could it could either end well, everybody gets along, and you know they they form a little government, and they don't you know there's no retribution against Gaddafi loyalists, and yeah. all the various tribes get together and they oh, say that let's happens. let's uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So when that doesn't happen, tribes. then what you get is <laughs> you got to get this thing heading south. And, you know, the, this, this transitional national council that formed in the east part of the country that's been supposedly running the show, we're already getting, you know, grumblings from people in the west. And the western side, the rebels, were really responsible for overrunning Tripoli. They're mm -hmm. the ones who have actually been making progress over the past few months anyway. They're more resourced and trained and, you know, better logistics. And they're looking and saying, with transitional national council, what the hell are you talking about? Like, fuck you. Yeah, we're, we're the ones that have been yeah. so, fighting over here. But we can't. What are we going to do? Walk out? I mean, it, it will be chaos. And so the French have already been committing, you know, certain resources. And, and, and as Bill pointed out, what are we going to do? Spend money there? We don't really have any money to spend. You know what? We're always so afraid of this instability after these revolutions. Revolutions pretty much breed instability. Mm. Uh, I think mm. we should let them run their courses and get the fuck out of these places and just let world history be world history. You I know, think the you second know? you introduce the word tribes, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know which direction it's going. In. You're just like, all right, this is just, you just have Vince McMahon commentate, turn it into a pay-per-view, let them fight it out. 
<laughs> and just here comes the north end of the yeah. west, and they're pissed. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god, <laughs> it's a Mason Club match. <laughs> he He's just jumping be- off the top rope. <laughs> he just beheaded him. He just beheaded him. He's pulling his finisher move to beheading. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah just have the fits. finishing move. Ah, uh, it. Uh, I, but we we are always the the big fear thing is we can't just leave right right why not Inst- because we've been in Iraq now for a decade uh, so why can't we just leave uh, is, Somalia is it, maybe we're probably looking it, at that like how bad that will but that, is that it can worse get? is it worse to be there for ten years with uh, uh, American lives being lost or pull out. And let them deal with their shit for with ten it. years. Well, I mean, you, and that's that's a big issue. You look at a place like Afghanistan, and you say, "All right, we could be there for twenty years. We could be there for thirty years." Do we? I mean, the Taliban has no place to go. Right? We've learned this from previous wars. Yeah. Uh, so, do we honestly believe that at this stage, somehow Afghanistan is still as relevant to our national security as it was? in late 2001 mm-hmm. and but we never had that conversation and much like with iraq because and as you said we get in there and for some reason and whether it's whether it's hubris or whether it's an embarrassment or whether whatever it is we can't have that conversation and the people on capitol hill don't have the balls to say we got to go it's no longer in our interest right good luck with this and 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 off you go let me ask you a question yeah. too i'm sorry Andy. No, no, do you no. think that if bin laden had been turned over by the taliban you know, and say what, December of two thousand one or January of two, whatever it was, that uh, the U.S. would have gone over there. No, no, mm. I don't think so. Do you think that was just a tactical, a horrible miscalculation by the Taliban? Oh, absolutely. The Taliban, you know, they, they and there were arguments inside the Taliban, uh, very early stages of, of late two thousand one or early two thousand and two. I mean, they understood that they had made a serious tactical <laughs> error Whoops. in allowing Al Qaeda to develop their camps to the degree they did, and. And to suddenly, you know, be kicked out of power because of foreign fighters and and their agenda, which was not the same as the Taliban. The Taliban wants to play in their own box, right? I mean, they, you know, we went in there well, they were and doing kicked fine. them out, right? Yeah. Because they suddenly got outside their neighborhood, and you know. So honestly, I, I I'm not a buyer on Afghanistan, and quite frankly, I'm not a buyer on Iraq. You think that you know the, the sectarian violence is it's spiking again? Mm-hmm. Uh, again, once we walk out of there, and I don't know that we're actually going to leave Iraq in the way that we've been talking about. I think we're gonna we're gonna have a long term presence there. I don't see how yeah, we. we are, I think the permanent bases they built over there kind of gave that away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was something to that big yeah. compound with all the electricity. And once they brought in <laughs> cable they TV, yeah, they bring up like yeah. tents and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they got a Starbucks. No, they got a stronghold over trucks. there, and then they're gonna gradually, uh, I think, take out everybody over there. And then I think we'll have all the oil under our control, and it'll, still, and it'll still be $7 a gallon somehow. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the and poly- somehow they just won't be able to get us better technology than 35 miles a gallon. We just yeah. can't <laughs> fucking get past that number. I love Bill. Oh, I don't know what it is. All the cars are safer. They're heavier. Go oh, fuck yourself. You know what I heard yesterday? The gas is still expensive, even though the price of uh, oil has gone down something like 35% over the past couple of weeks. Uh, the price at the pumps has only gone down about 9%. It's and, almost like they're so big, the government can't even control them. It's almost like they're outside control. the boundaries of this country. Well, one excuse I heard was it's the fact that the dollar is worth so little now, because they've just been pumping money out there, that the price would have come down. Well, that's, but that's, it kept, that's, that's a whole now, other card to exit. Now a gallon of gas yeah. is, is $5. It's almost like there's a private corporation just <laughs> printing money. That's yeah, almost, sure it's is. almost it's like that. It's almost like designed to fail. To then create a new currency and right. eventually work towards one world bank. It's almost like I knew that. It. I knew it. It's almost That's that. It. Not quite 830, and we no. got to the one world one government. One world yeah. government. Oh, yeah, yeah they're yeah. not going to do that. Not at all. The Amero. Yeah, Europe has the euro. Look yeah. what happened to it. It's not working apart. too well. Well, I'm yeah. not saying it's going to go great. I'm just saying. I think the Germans yeah, want to go saying... back to the Deutschmark. And... I'm, not, yeah. I'm not saying <laughs> that like there's, there's this one group of people. The whole world's just a bunch of gangs. And I think that they they try. Gangs. Everybody's trying to be the guy. I'm not. I'm not one of those guys. You know, what I can't stand about conspiracy theory. Jews. It's how, it's how immediately, <laughs> immediately it goes to that. And immediately it goes to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like uh, the, like conspiracy his theory has just become synonymous with moronic thought. And this whole fucking country came about because of a conspiracy. The revolution was not a spontaneous act 
where everyone's just sitting there also. That's a legitimate yeah. conspiracy. There, it's it's not the fact that there aren't such things as conspiracies. We're planning. But when you, but the when you have you one pre- that's so out there, what was out there about that? It wasn't. No, it wasn't. That's just it. You get a bunch of colonists. They come over here. They say, no, "That's not what I'm England. saying." That's no, not what I'm saying. No, I'm, no, saying I'm talking about slowly becoming one world bank, dude. Since I've been doing this show, we went from kind of twenty major banks. We're down to like five. <laughs> when I was living in L.A., you couldn't find it. Chase Manhattan. They're all over the fucking place. They Somehow to be those sons of bitches co- always guess right. There used to be delis and shit. Now there's fucking subways. There used to be department stores. Now there's fucking you know hardware stores. Now there's fucking Home Depots. Everything's conglomerating. Did you just compare? You just compared? Yes, it's a business. You just compared that? Yes. There are other, yes, other, it's other, legalized. Bigger it's, businesses buy up the smaller ones, and you lose the. It's mom legalized and pop loan sharking. Yes, it always has been, but it doesn't mean that this this conspiracy is is consolidating the banks. It's business, just like uh, hardware stores being bought up by fucking Lowe's and and Home Depot. Oh, what's going the amount on? of shit that you've argued with me about for the last five years that has now come about? When I was telling you to buy gold coins and you said I was a fucking moron, no, dude, you, those things were I like agree. fuck you. They were five hundred bucks. Roll the tape. They were like eight hundred bucks, Crazy. and now they're like eighteen hundred bucks. What are you gonna do with your gold coins, man? And then I'm going to Canada and I'm getting like eighty cents on the dollar. I can't even afford a pair of fucking sneakers up there. And I was like, where's Anthony now? But I'm saying yes, this is I'll happening. Go, anything but, I say but, to you, you'd make it sound like I say that the the, che- the fucking moon is made out of cheese. I agree with you saying this, and that and, as, he, as he builds a compound and has an arsenal of weapons. <laughs> I, You're a genius. Well, you know, I like I, you I gotta, like your style. You say I don't I, believe in that stuff. On the DL, but stay I imagine. Prepared. Yeah. Stay yeah. prepared, though. We're always, all, yeah, you got You got to make some contingency plans. You know? Do you have a go bag, Bill? Uh, uh, see, you're a guy that should have a go bag. Some, no, some I, could, I, I live in Los Angeles, which is a city that technically has no water supply. There's yeah. no the amount of people I know out there, dude. I got a cabin. I got this <laughs> cabin. It's like, well, dude, unless you're in it when the shit goes down, <laughs> this is it's gonna be crazy. What's fucked up about the United States is like when you see like you know in Japan, like when that tsunami hit, and the, but there's still like peace. It's because they're all Japanese over here. It's like gangs in New York. <laughs> like shit, it's it's gonna be like the Warriors. You just think when the, do- when the dollar collections and people with their face painted with baseball <laughs> baseball bats, <laughs> that's gonna be insane. I want to know why people live in gated communities. Yeah, what the fuck Security. are you doing? What huh. are you doing? Security. You know, a high that, number that, of that, oil that. executives live in gated communities. Yes, they do. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a lot of people that are after them. Yeah, right. like Bill, yeah, Bill. Yeah, because Burr. they do they do business they really in such are, a way. They're that hard is, to uh, back up. They really are despicable. Fucking people, and I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but they're, they're, I can't think of a more hateable group of people than the fucking people that run the banks. But I don't think the only conspiracy here is the conspiracy to make money. Oh yeah, no, I know, but I'm just it's not I'm, this grand. What like to over? What's their end game? To run things and be able to go. No, I don't. No, I, 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 um, what's their end game? It's it's one. Of, uh, like, I, I don't even understand why that's like even fucking funny. Like, oh like, shit! Like, yeah, because it's an evil one leader guy. No, I'm not saying that. I yeah. never said that. All that right. is your general idea of conspiracy theory. Because whenever they show a conspiracy theory, it's, it's always a guy with the fucking tin foil on his head. <laughs> yeah. No, that's my impression of your thoughts on what this is and i've what's never said end that end game i never said that there's one fucking guy but doing that i've never saying that and why give me the the final solution to what they want okay the you game. have to the phrase game. it like that i know basically <laughs> the game that they play yeah. right now which is to get everybody on the wheel for 30 fucking years and right as you pay it off your gallbladder explodes <laughs> And then your insurance cancels you. You got to kick, you know, you got to sell the house and they move another 30 year old in there. It's not enough just to be doing it to people here. They want, they want to keep growing. What does it give them? Wait a minute. Now, are we, so we're talking the about, thing about healthcare them, conspiracy. Because you're yeah, talking, yeah, yeah, that, you're that, talking that's about. Totally. Yeah. No, no, but it, they're all part of the same, not organized together, but it's part of that same thought process that it's never enough. Money. I don't have a problem being controlled, but my problem with people mm. like that is it's never enough. It's never fucking enough. Never like you enough think, what? okay, money or yeah. power or both. Yeah, or? it's never going to be enough. That's what scares me about what, like the bailout money, the fact that I mean, am I out of my mind? Did I not see on the news that they they can't even say where it is or who got it? Yeah, it's, it's not a. And it's for just it. like whatever. Yeah. But Some if you snatch your fucking lot. purse, they got your face. On every goddamn telephone pole out there. How come I don't know what these bankers look like? How come no these guys don't go to jail? 
There's Why? no accountability because it's like anything, like like in this building. Because they're bigger. They're, they have when, too much fucking money. They're, they're beyond being prosecuted at this point. So what this would isn't you, what conspiracy theory. Like what would you like what to do? They? What do you want to do with them? That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother argument. Mm. I'm not saying I have the solution. What I'm saying is what's going on is fucked up. I'm saying this is what pisses me off. But do you yeah. think this so is what? So what's wrong with doing that? Yeah, no, no, what I'm trying right. to you're stop here right. is yeah. if you bring this. Thank you. Yeah. See? Well, I'm say, no, I'm saying you're right to say you're pissed off and talk about it. And you don't need to have a solution because that tends yeah. to be. Yeah. You think yeah. it's an organized conspiracy of a few people that have a plan? Like, like I don't. This know. is no, 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 no. This? no I'm, this is what. Look, I'm saying like banks. They're basically trying to get down to one bank. They're trying to eliminate all their other competition the way they do in any business. In but, any business, but in right. this fucking business, that's unbelievably dangerous. If you get all, if you get all I the agree. way down to one bank, yeah, okay, then I mean, what am I going to do when they say, okay, the interest is thirty percent on that loan, and I go, hey, go fuck yourself? They no, no, you go fuck yourself. Because we have all the goddamn money. Well, the only problem right. with that is that it, it's not in the bank's interest to not have any competition. Because of the way the banking system is structured, they have to have competition. And they have to have liquidity within the various banking industries to, to, to make this work. So, why? I mean, the idea, why? why? Well, that's a whole other conversation. I'm not saying i got a solution here. I'm just saying, <laughs> okay. I'm just saying because I agree with it in a sense that, that there was no accountability for the bailout. You could argue that why that, do you was, need that, competition? Was a, that was a government if, if you, issue. If you, if you yeah. control all of the money, why would that be in your bat? Why would that be in, in, in your... In it's your not, I mean, A, it's never going to happen. Because of regulation. We're no down to like gonna, five banks. So they understand. No, we're not down to five banks. Wouldn't it implode? Name, okay, name what, 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 what are we, I mean, what, I'm yeah, just saying yeah, five yeah. like major banks. You got, yeah. what do you got? You got Wells Fargo. You got Chase. Washington, whatever the fuck that is, that's City gone. Bank. Ernie Banks. I thought that was a terrible name for Ernie. a bank. Oh, City, oh, yeah, so get rid of those guys. Yeah, yeah, Why yeah, have yeah. that competition? Yeah. Uh, what else you got? You got uh, City, you got Bank of America. Yeah. Outer. Uh, when I say five, yeah. I mean there's, yeah. there's like yeah. very few left. It's basically what I'm saying. It's not literally five. I, I understand. Yeah, but understand. don't you think just, one just, bank... Look, I, my, my, my point being is I, I, I'm always fascinated by the, the notion that you know, somehow business is out that screw us over constantly. I mean, I, and, and I'm saying this in part because I run, a, I run a small business. It's a small business, but it's still a business. I'm out there. I want to make as much fucking money as I can. Right. And I'd like to get my business as big as I possibly can. Right. I don't think that makes me a bad person. <laughs> that just makes me want to make as much fucking money and get as big a fucking business oh as possible. Oh, my God. Yeah. Bill is hilarious. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now, Bill, why do you find oh that funny? God. Yeah, a businessman wanting to... Yes, because oh, there's... Call me crazy. Because, yeah, yeah, I want because, to make money. Be, yeah. yeah, at your level. Yeah. At your level. When you open your lemonade stand, yeah, it's all about customer service. Absolutely. Right. Hello, I'm Mr. So-and-so. I run the lemonade stand. Can I help you, sir? Would you like another napkin? This is my dream. I'm talking about when you get to a fucking insane level. How many stories have been on the news where they show these giant corporations who do the wrong fucking thing just so they can eke out another dollar? Yeah. You, you go fly in a They're fucking airplane. And selfish, yeah. but that doesn't make them conspiracy no, but he, no, level. I know, right, but, right, but, right, no, 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 right, no, 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 no. But right. what he's suggesting is that if I'm running a business... I want to do what's best for the customer. No, it's all you're just saying, no, wait, wait, wait. Now you're doing. Well, that's that's not that's not. Now, now like you're putting words in my mouth. Like that's you what said. that sounded like. You're you're that's what it sounded like you were saying. No, then, okay. I'm not saying. I'm saying I'm running a business. I want to make as he much said fucking money, money as I can, and, and I would like to get my business as big as possible. That doesn't make me a bad fucking person. And if someone opens up a you lemonade know, stand next door, he's going to be Depending on how you go about it, yes, it does. What? Well, now you're at a morality issue. Yeah. With business, where the fuck have you been for two hundred years? It doesn't work that You're way. You're literally saying what I'm saying, you jackass. I know. <laughs> Jesus Business, fucking Christ. But I'm saying it. Jesus fucking Christ. But I give you're up. You're putting too but much. But I'm saying it louder. No, you're putting too much emotion into it and morality into it. I'm looking at it like business is fucked. They're greedy, selfish people that want to make money. I'm not looking at it like you're spelling it out. That yes, this, yes, this they're big, not trying to. This big brained guy. Uh, is, no, I, is never the top I never with said that. I never ever said that. I never said that. I never said that. I find it hard to believe. It never, like that. I find it hard to I believe they would, they would ever work together. Like like the greed does right. play a part in it. Whereas They'll work together. I can't, can't picture any bank. room where because uh, look at the Chinese. There's a billion of them, and they're never going to want to be a part of no, something that I is shared. Never, this is unreal. You guys have a conversation about something I never said. For the ninth time, I'm not saying there's one fucking guy. No, not one. I'm just even saying that... I'm, I'm not just saying, saying you're saying, I'm saying that there's collective. certain groups, oil companies, insurance companies, and banks All are, 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 are... No, I'm not saying that. Okay, I'm, I'm saying they're, they're they're, they are too big to be controlled. Right. They're too big okay. to be controlled, which I'll is even, why their greed is so out of fucking control. I'll even go with you on that. They I are, actually think that there's enough money... 
if they, if they wouldn't fucking just if it wasn't so goddamn corrupt and they didn't pay forty dollars for a fucking hammer, you don't think that we could afford health insurance? See, the amount, the amount, the amount of God, morality into the, it again. the amount of goddamn money. It's not even like morality and compassion has no place in ninety nine percent of the businesses out there. It just doesn't. They don't think of it that way. It's a horrible. I thing. I understand that they don't. But they don't. Yeah, so we're yeah. saying the same thing. Uh, yeah, so you are. don't have a. You just go, hey, this is the way it is. And blah, 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 blah. And I actually get upset by it. And your your point, this is what it really is. Right. We're both saying it exists. I get upset by it. And you just say, hey, that's the way it is. Yeah. You know, that's that seems it. To be where so we are, then there's huh? no point in arguing then. I'm done. Mm. Case closed. No, it's not like case closed. It's well. just, it's just, it's, <laughs> there's no, no, because we're saying the same thing. We, we, we are. We are saying the same I, thing. I misunderstood. I thought you had it. It's a probably because of all the yelling I do. Yeah. You were in a good mood when you came in here. <laughs> <laughs> that ends real quick. No, that's nah, the whole, I just, I don't, you know what it is, dude? I don't buy anything. I just think it's all Bull fucking bullshit. Shit. It's yeah. all bullshit. Have you, like, they don't much... even They don't even give a fuck about people in this country. Yeah. And if, they, if there isn't money to be made, they don't give a shit about people over there. It's all, got a guy, give him the freedom and blah, blah, blah. No. I don't buy any of it. <laughs> Worst speech ever given was Eisenhower at the end of his presence, the, the industrial military complex. People have explained to me what that means, and I still watch the speech, and I don't get it. I don't know why. He, he should have talked like the common man. I mean, listen, really? there's going to be Best Buy in the future. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be a bad thing. What, uh, what was part of the speech, though? With the, uh, what was that, the... Industrial, Industrial military, military complex. Yeah. He was yeah. basically saying that big business was going to start controlling our foreign policy. I think that that's what it oh, is. That's, uh, I swear to God, I could watch it 200 <laughs> times. Somebody could diagram it. I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. He definitely looks disturbed. <laughs> really? He looks upset. The Industrial <laughs> military complex. It's like the somebody told latitude, him something. Latitude 40 degrees. <laughs> On to ready, break. <laughs> Just like, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> And everybody always has it on YouTube, like, this is the thing we should have listened to, man. And I'm watching, and I'm going, oh, Jesus Christ, this is the problem. I'm too fucking stupid. I have no idea. That one of these, he was actually going rogue in that moment. <laughs> and he had to do it in a way where he wouldn't end up in a convertible in Dallas. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's fantastic. You know, man. I was wondering if we could uh, loop back to the Kennedy assassination yeah, by the time it, we finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, the the fucked up thing is, I do agree with Bill on a lot of things, and, and I'm very jaded. I'm very uh, distrustful of of the government. What do you, I'm not a rah rah government guy. I love that their fucking hand is in my pocket, taking fifty percent of everything I make and own. Oh, I'm and getting killed. It's I'm finally making money in this business. Murdered, I'm taking uppercuts right? every three oh. months. <laughs> and then, yes, and to then be called an elitist and not doing your not doing your part in this country, you're you're made out to be a villain because you've achieved what is supposed to be the American dream. Because the pursuit of happiness has turned into a guarantee of happiness and an entitlement of happiness. And happiness equals money. Uh, so you're the bad guy. And unless you give your shit to somebody that doesn't have it, you're fucking despicable. I just worked yeah. in Utah, and I had a pretty good weekend. I did okay. I made a little bonus. All went to taxes in Utah. All of it went to Utah. I didn't <laughs> get my bonus. Crazy. They grab you by your ankles, and they turn you upside down, you down, and they just Absolutely. Shake, it, <laughs> shake it out of your... And how I get into arguments with people on Twitter, which I do, about taxes, and, and, the, and people actually like, are pissed that I'm saying I don't want to pay half of everything I own and earn. And then they tell me, you don't pay half. And I'm going, really? I'm doing my fucking taxes. I know how much I pay out. Oh, I'm not just talking about federal and state. I have the holes in the wall to prove yeah. that how much I'm paying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's federal and state, and then what you get to keep oh right yeah so the second you spend it it's taxed you want to make money on it in the market whoa you made a little too much too Dude, soon. my account yeah. knows capital yeah. gains my 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 account knows every year that i'm gonna flip out at the end of the year because i pay like these huge chunks because i don't want to yes. take that that fucking the overhand big. right yeah. at the end of the year yeah, so last year i'm throwing jams. even more money and more money and more money and the guy goes yeah bill so i did the final figures out but you know i'll talk to you after the holidays and i'm like no man i want to know now and he goes all right uh and he hits me with a number on you go you gotta be you fucking still owed money uh, uh, ah yeah. i owed more money 
I owed more money. At, I, I paid more money each quarter, and I owed more money. Now, I definitely made more money, but I paid way fucking more. You know, you made yeah. it. Hey, look, you wouldn't have to pay tax on it if you weren't making it. Fuck you. No. It's I, I, my <laughs> money. I should be able to fucking keep a little more of it. Flat tax for the whole fucking country. Yeah. I, I love that Including idea. Including the rich cunts. Yes. Who don't pay. Every yeah. fucking person and business, 17%. Yeah, they're not going to do but that. You know what? But if you, know you what? make I, a I, I dollar got... a year, I want to see your 17 cents in that till, motherfucker. I got nothing against I, I'm, a, I'm with that. Yeah, I got nothing against closing loopholes and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Yes. But I do want to see that percentage. And everybody's got a different number. It's 42%. It's 51% uh. of, of Americans who don't actually pay any taxes. I want them to pay something. Pay it. I want everybody to be invested in the system. Ride. Otherwise, we got a big fucking problem. If you're not invested in the system in any way, right? And you know, you got these great entitlement programs. What else are you going to think? I like my free stuff. Yeah, this Don't is take great. That well, how, how can you? Yeah. How can you yeah. stop them from overpaying? Like everybody wants to work for the state because they want to lean on a fucking shovel and not do anything, <laughs> and then everybody wants to get the government contracts so they can overcharge everybody because you got right. whoever the hell's writing the goddamn checks. It's not really your money. Yeah. So when you overcharge, I mean, half the people out. I'm not half the people. Typical uh, stat I'll throw out there, but I bet a lot of the fucking people who are taking those government contracts will then turn around and bitch about their taxes after they just got done right. overcharging. <laughs> The people, yeah, they're part of the problem, and they're bitching about it when they go to pay yeah, their all these huge construction taxes. things. You know, they always yeah. sh that'll be well, like that's why I, nine thousand dollars per bag of concrete. Yeah. That's why when when it came uh, time to vote on uh, the Nassau Coliseum and the Islanders, uh, I live in Nassau County, and I went out and voted uh, no because they wanted us to cough up millions upon millions of dollars in tax money to rebuild the Nassau Coliseum, a minor league ballpark, um, and uh, revamp the area Bread and shit and like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, fuck, fuck that. No, I'm not doing it. Uh, so I voted no, and, and the, a lot of people voted no. The whole bill didn't pass. I'm like, wh and people were bitching at me. You know how many jobs are going to be lost? Uh, the Islanders are going to leave this. I go, no, it's not going to happen. They will stay. They're going to get private sector money like they should and fucking build it from the private sector. The jobs will be there. It'll be private investors that want to recoup their money. They want to save money. I'm going to give the government who, who we're, in, we're in debt already in this county, in Nassau County where I live. Right. I'm going to give them millions more no, I don't for understand. a boondoggle fucking uh, uh, overpriced a roller Stadium. derby yeah. rink? Yeah, yeah, a roller derby <laughs> rink. I, want like, I don't understand. How, how do the owners of these teams get to, to like, blackmail these states? Like, the, yeah. we're, we're yeah. going to leave. We're they, leaving. States should start going, well, then fucking leave. Leave, go. Yeah. It's go your ahead. business. Who cares? You're making all this money. Pay for your own, own goddamn and by stadium. the way, the second you leave an island, your name becomes very silly. Yeah. The Islanders, yeah. the Tennessee Islanders. The Lakers. What? Stop it. You look the silly. Yeah. Islanders. Yeah, yeah. 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 You've got That's like not three happening. places you can move to. Catalina. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. Nantucket. Yeah. Hawaii. Nantucket. Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't trust the government with tax money. They've proven time and time again they what? can't make it work. You don't think the government uh, can spend our money yeah, wisely no, and efficiently? I haven't no. seen it. Amazing, right? But that's fucking no accounting for those bon the, the uh, bailout money given. Yeah, no yeah. accounting. The, the only and answer, and I won't say it, is literally to physically drag people out of buildings. Um, and, and fucking, uh, you've all seen footage of what they do in third world countries Flawed. to a rapist. That is the <laughs> only way to handle this. If that happened... What, what do they do? Uh, they usually light them on, burn them alive. Some or they countries, shoot they them. pat them on the back. Yeah. <laughs> good, good job. What did she do? Yes. And Look at another man. But I mean, uh, it, it's, the only, it's the only answer. It's the only way that they, they will stop doing that is if they know that the, uh, the penalty is to be dragged down into the street and fucking shot. It's the, I'm telling you, it sounds like a crazy thing to say. But it nothing. might make him f straighten up and fly right. <laughs> hey, look, fucking Madoff is a very rare case of a guy whose life really is ruined. Son committed suicide, his wife left him. Like, he's a very Lost rare case yeah. of a guy who really got what he deserved. And he well, really look, he's, had he, a fuck he, up. And that's, I love this case, too, because now you got people arguing. Because there, there were people that got in there that actually made money, right? Made a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because he was, he was paying them, and they were kind of feeding the system by you know, introducing other people. And uh, Saps, anyway, yeah. so. Now they're arguing. They're trying to keep the money that 
not only that they invested with him, but that the money that he gave them through this whole Ponzi scheme. Which was basically just other people's other money. People's yeah. money. Yeah. We right, didn't right, make right. any money. No, absolutely. He didn't make any money whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so there's, there's this big legal battle with the trustee, and the trustee wants to get all that money back. He's saying, you didn't make that money. That's stolen money. Give me that money back. You can get the money back that you invested with him. You know, and right. then, but I want the, I want that I want profit, so called profit. Yeah, yeah. And people <laughs> defending their money sound greedy, like they're yeah. greedy. That's the, but if I invested money, like I have money in the market, if all of a sudden it turns out my guy was a thief, as, as but much you as I feel pulled out before, I would be like, what the fuck? These are my investments. Like yeah, I yeah. did the right thing. I wasn't stealing. From, you know, it's, no, it's the hard. problem gets is if he actually gives money back to one guy and gave him a, a major profit. To keep feeding the, the scam of the Ponzi right, scheme. Right. So then that guy takes that money and now he goes to invest it and he's in a certain amount of debt and that's, well, that's stolen money. I guess he could sell whatever property, but it's not as simple as like, well, that, that's stolen money. You got to give it back. It's like the person, you're, you're looking at your bank figures like you think you have this amount of money. So you go start living this life. Yes. Mm. Um, uh, yeah. but it, but the, like, the but, funding the Mets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a good one. No, but the thing is, is, but the both sides are kind of right. It's weird. It's a, that's that's going to be a tough one. And the yeah, fact that they let him tough. go in a, in a minimum security prison, that's another problem. It's like, he, I mean, his life stinks because of his personal life, but he should be forced to be in a horrific... Exactly. You know, even yeah. though... Oh, Make a, guy a shank like, out of his tie tack. A guy like that, though, would probably be taken care of in jail because he's fucking such a genius that he could tell these guys how to tell people to make money on the outside. You think it's Shawshank? He's a, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, for real... <laughs> that guy's a commodity. Yeah. Lawyers do okay in jail. Yeah, I mean, the next year, Mr. Too. Madoff yeah. was doing tax returns for the whole... <laughs> Stab. But you know, <laughs> not to make someone feel like a man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like drinking some, a, a some nice suds. cold beer. Yeah, some cold suds. Oh, that fucking, why do I think that movie? Drink is up, so, ladies. So overrated that movie. I'm sorry. Really? I don't fucking like, like Escape from Alcatraz. <laughs> Enough already. You're drinking this beer, we got it. <laughs> fucking bugs me. And Viking rapes him. You don't like that Viking? <laughs> I liked it, but it was the. It's that's so what I know. That's what I. You know what I liked about that movie. Was every time they have some middle class white guy go to jail, he always somehow fights off the rapist and then takes over the prison. I know he took over the prison in his own way, but he still got yeah, raped. He still got raped. Yeah, that, yes. that one line is sometimes he was able to, sometimes, sometimes he wasn't. I was just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no, he got it, didn't he? No, I yeah. prefer Clint Eastwood with his fucking great ass showing when Wolf goes, I'm looking for a new punk. Worst fucking male rapist in prison ever. I could have fought him off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's my problem with most movies is there's always that moment where it, it reminds me that I'm watching a movie. Yeah. And like yeah, when yeah. I see Tom Selleck take over the prison and able to whatever movie that was. And oh, he's able. To, yeah, I didn't think anybody else saw that movie. Yeah. That yeah. awful movie. Yeah, it's just, funny when you first got cable, it came out. And you just, yeah. you know, look at me. Yeah, he's Magnum P.I. Of course he's got it. <laughs> he's There's your shank. The you got to go in the shower and kill that guy, Tom. Dude, I remember <laughs> I, I was talking to this guy one time and uh, we were watching the UFC. And so I, I forget who we were watching, but I was just like, I go, look at that guy. I go, that guy right there, unrapeable. He's <laughs> such a good fighter. He can go to prison, blah, blah, blah. And this dude had actually been in prison. He goes, nah, they'd still get to him. Oh. I go, how? He goes, eh, they, you know, they, they put drugs in your food. I'm just like, Jesus oh, Five Christ. guys yeah. jump on you. A couple will get broken jaws, but you will get dicked. Oh, yeah. But then again, I can't. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Dude, it's fucking brutal. It really I, is a deterrent. Why I don't cheat yeah. on my taxes? But what, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but what a great title for a new reality show. You <laughs> yeah. will get dicked. You will get dicked. <laughs> But you know, will you be the first unrapeable? <laughs> <laughs> Who will be the unrapeable? <laughs> they do a litmus test in your asshole as the fucking audience applauds. <laughs> See if you've been raped or if you're fibbing. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, let's uh, let's take a, a quick break. Do you have and, uh, Bill? Do you have any plugs? Oh yes, Bill. You got P Carnegie Hall. Plus, I'm terrible no, with the plug. November thing. 11th, uh, Carnegie Hall, and uh, Stress Factory this weekend. Carnegie Stress Hall. Factory this weekend. There you go. Jesus, yes. Jimmy, killing it. Yeah, yeah. Carnegie absolutely. Hall. I fucking hate people that won't plug when I'm on a radio show. It's like sometimes you go there, people just don't do plugs. It's like, what are you doing? What do you think I'm here yes, for? Yes, I'm selling. Mike, you. Me, uh, I'm opening up for Bill at Carnegie Hall. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna okay. we're gonna debate. Yeah, yeah we're gonna do it. my theory about how the government is good. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like one. you guys are like Goofus and Gallon. Yeah. Kind of like just two sweet boys. Just a, this is gonna really freak you out, but I've actually really toned it down. 
Oh, with yeah, a conspiracy yeah. theory. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was Believe driving me it. nuts. I, I, got, yeah. I went halfway down the rabbit hole, and I saw what was all the way down yeah. there, and yeah. I was like, all right. Didn't all right. want to go any For a while, yeah. Bill Ford Kennedy was yeah. shot by Jackie. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> we, 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 Martin. She wanted to, she, she wanted to bang like Lyndon. <laughs> yeah, we, we tracked those people down at the bottom of the rabbit hole. You don't want to be down there with them. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't doubt yeah. it. Question to you, but maybe we come back. Because they write. There's tapes being released, supposedly. By Carolyn Kennedy of uh, of Jackie O talking, and they're saying that mm -hmm. there's a allegation that she thought Lyndon Johnson was behind the shooting, which again it would, still wouldn't yeah. convince me that he was. But uh, maybe when we get back, we could talk about that. <laughs> yeah, let's talk so about a little that. News maybe a few teams. more movies or whatever the fuck we decide to yeah. uh, talk about. Okay, uh, we'll be uh, right back. Yes. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. I want to bring this up, of course, ladies, 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 ladies. How would you like? The chance to win $1,000. Yeah. Oh, and a dream date with our very own Daniel Bobo Curlin. Daniel Bobo Curlin. Is he still, he's still single? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. This is, what a bittersweet thing this is. A thousand bucks, and you got to go out with Bobo. But, and people have been confused by this. The date with Bobo will also pay for the date. It doesn't come out of the thousand. It doesn't come out of the grand. So you're leaving with a thousand and dinner. Lunch. We'll do lunch. Oh, lunch? Is yeah. it lun at lunch day? Well, we're not going to let we're Bobo, trust Bobo at, night. at night. No, we're going to, right after yeah. the show, Blood away. monitor this And closely. you are going to be chaperoning yeah. the uh, date. Well, that's cool. All you got to do is uh, send an email to Opie Anthony at SiriusXM.com. That would be the email address. Opie Anthony. Not and. Don't put the and in there. It's just Opie Anthony at SiriusXM.com. With a photo, right? We need a picture of you. A quick paragraph of like 500 words or less. Uh, telling um, the show a few things about yourself and why you deserve a date with this hunky eligible bachelor. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. The Bobo Dating Game is sponsored by Trojan. Get closer with triple-tested quality Trojan bearskin condoms. <laughs> triple I know. They put it in all holes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bearskin just yeah. sounds thick. Triple-tested triple, triple tested both nostrils and an ear. <laughs> I have them, by the way. I have them, yeah. and I want, I've got no opportunity to use them. Because uh -huh. I, you know, I've, I literally haven't fucked another girl in years. I was in, it's fucking depressing. Really? Yeah, I haven't. And I want I have these. I want to jerk off into one. It's not that Trojan wants <laughs> this commercial. Yeah, but I want to get used to, to, to using condoms. I'm going to have to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Quadruple. Well, Tested. I don't yeah. know. I just quadruple to, tested. I don't want to get somebody pregnant. Well, do what uh, Iraq does. Yeah. Tie it in a knot, put take it in it your pocket, you. and take it with you, so the girl can't squeeze it into their uh, vagina and get themselves pregnant with the precious Nagel seed. These seem very. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He does. He ties it off in a knot. Yeah, he, he, does. he actually makes earrings out of it. And <laughs> Christmas <laughs> ornaments. Iraq. Iraq. The I thought Iraq was room. married. Well, he is. yeah, but back in the, the, the old back day. In his day, his you know, wife makes him wear a condom. She's like, I don't want that <laughs> anywhere near me. <laughs> She's just here girl. for financial purposes. <laughs> <laughs> for uh, official rules and entry details, entry details, uh, visit SiriusXM.com slash the virus. Deadlines for entry. Uh, wow, it's coming up noon Eastern on August 26th. Ladies, come on. Now, you're going to want to uh, get right on this. So um, go this see all Friday. the details at SiriusXM.com slash the virus. The virus. That's this Friday, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Date with Bobo and a thousand bucks. Nice. Amazing. We have some entries, right? Fucking oh, yeah. Amazing. We've gotten more. Did we? Uh, we got more yesterday. Yeah? Good. I want to see some pictures. You look lovely this evening. <laughs> I want to see some pictures. Can you do a Bobo impression? Ladies. Uh, we all do our road version of Bobo. Okay, I do it for the show. For the show. <laughs> <laughs> and with the pointing. So he's doing that. Uh, though, well, my brother, uh, that's... What? No, it's not. Yes, it is. That is not. It is indeed. No, that's is that uh, a contestant. I no, know who that that's, is. That's not. That's not. She entered. Oh boy, that's oh. hilarious. I almost hope. I'm not going to say who it is, but I'm going to say I almost hope she wins. Yeah. Just so, uh, she is being shared by Bobo and a guy I know. Do you yes, know? exactly. Do you know how much the guy I know would be very unhappy about that? I, I know who that is. Actually, he might like it. And he probably set it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She right. answered yesterday. Uh, Have you hilarious. guys ever gotten uh, Bobo laid? Uh, no, no, no penetration allowed on the program. Yeah. He has his. It's not rule. on the program. Yeah. I mean, we off, got our off limits. There. Yes, off there. we do have our limits. Yeah, we're trying to run a classy <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, class show. Uh, no, we we haven't. Uh, oh boy. 
That, she looks That's like... That's nice. Joyce DeWitt. Yeah. What she was doing after. <laughs> Casey Anthony. Yeah. She's like, yeah. the, 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 the low self-esteem. Hey, oh, yeah. Look, okay. She's like, yeah, this is good. It was another shot of oh, her. Oh, she's cute. Wow, at least she's wearing something sexy. Like a grandma's dress. <laughs> what's that? She's got to fucking break. All the all the uh, kindergartners are napping. <laughs> a I, that, that's what I'm saying. There's something hot about that. I like it. You like that? I'll yeah. take that. Yeah. that any, giant any other square girl? skull. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! I know. Nice fucking <laughs> bottom, SpongeBob wants to fuck Bobo. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I don't know if I got forwarded <laughs> anymore. Oh. Well, I hope well, to not see. Uh, surprised people don't send else. us more pictures with the way we just treated that last. <laughs> I believe mean, we we really are our own worst enemies. We're the worst. We're like, why don't girls come down when we have contests for girls and stuff? And all we do is lambast them. We're when they terrible come in. people. Yeah, we are. But I mean, no, I, how good is Jennifer Lopez looking? She's Jeez. she's amazing. J Lo, she's on the cover of the Daily News. What the fuck is this about? It says, "Whoa, J Lo." It's exactly it. Nothing. Uh, Two kids. Look at that stomach. Wow, her Bronx ass is on amazing. Jen. Her legs are. I've. Uh, I've, and she's a little nuts. That's what I like about yeah, her. Can't, can't sustain a relationship. Yeah, nice. I like Jenny from the Block. I like that song. I've said publicly <laughs> no. that I like that song. And it's, it's not popular uh, with the you're listeners. You're a fruit. So what? I like that song. <laughs> that uh, stupid if song. she was in the room, I would tell her I absolutely love but it. But I really yeah. do. Like, I, I don't like I it to be that. ironic. Yeah, I actually I think, enjoy I think, it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know the song. Could you sing oh, a little bit of it? Uh, oh, look at e -Rock. Yeah, He fucking has... Oh, of course, e has got it. Plugged his iPod. Yeah, he just plugged his iPod. You know where she goes, where she came from? She's fucking great. But she's not Jenny from the block. Sure she is. That big juice. She's not still the same fucking girl that was walking yeah. around She's the block. She's unaffected by fame, She's sir. And no don't you problem. tell me differently. Bullshit. You haven't changed since you started doing this I've show. I've completely changed. <laughs> I hate everyone that was that I, I grew up with and you know, worked around. Since you started doing the show, there are far fewer really big uh, girl singers. There's like J-Lo and a couple others. Yeah. And soon we're going to end up with only one, one <laughs> singer. One popular girl singer. singer. See yeah. what they're doing? Yeah. Yeah. See what they're doing? Yeah. So, See what they're doing? Again, you know, because then yep. she'll, yeah, yeah. And then you'll be like, Re oh, Record you labels like never song? stole from artists. They always just did what was in their best interest. I mean, I don't know where you're coming up with this. Uh, what happened to all the record stores? Look at that. Yeah. They're all uh, gone now. Technology? Digital downloads now. You know, well, Tower fuck, Records. What a gone, hero Lars Ulrich gone. is, by the way. Peaches. I thought he was a dick. Oh, but he, he was, was so right. He absolutely yeah. he was, was absolutely, right. Oh, we're sharing, man. We're not stealing. Yeah. No, we were stealing. So was I. <laughs> we were stealing. I admit it. I'm an admitted music stealer. Do you? And this is an old argument, but do you uh, agree then that that uh, dubbing a tape uh, when you were growing up is the same no. as stealing? No. Because remember, you used to dub yeah. a tape and. It's, but but no. isn't that just... You don't have the ability to mass distribute that. It's not the exact same quality. You have to be physically present. You can't the thing, email the thing it. Was, yeah, the, the thing was, was, was the level of quality yeah. was so bad. It was it's so really clearly bad. like this is not an original copy that came from the record label where right. now... I mean, you, you, you could get just, the master. Yeah. You pretty much get the master. Yeah, and it sounds incredible. <laughs> yeah, but, I agree with you on that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the quality. At the time, so it sounded like a great argument where it's like, well, it tapes, you know. <laughs> hey, I could buy a record and give it to my friend. What the fuck? It's so really, you see no difference between taking a picture of a girl with a Polaroid and showing your friend and a digital fucking photo of your chick naked that could be sent out to everywhere in the world. And me, of course, yeah. there's a difference. <laughs> well, just put it this way. Put it this way. Make, go, going one, from one tape to another didn't bring down oh, it was the so record bad. industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're digital. Yeah. That it was right. over in like three, four years. Amazing. The, yeah. the mixtapes I used to make actually destroyed the the record industry. Oh, I bet. I, bet, I, bet you <laughs> I, made, some, I made some great some mixtapes. sexy mixtapes. Oh, yeah. You know what Jim Florentine used to do? He used to make mixtapes for his girlfriend. I lived with him and his chick, and she was a school teacher. He would make mixtapes of love songs, and in between them he would put dice bits, so she <laughs> <laughs> so she couldn't listen to them with her friends. I love ass eating, and then a fucking <laughs> love song would stop. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude, oh, the that guy is the funniest motherfucker uh, ever. Yeah. Dude, they, yeah, oh, and, they, and they have uh, they have the best studio audience on television on that metal show. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, is, that show seen? is so ridiculously in my wheelhouse. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost recognize half the people in the crowd. I saw that dude. I saw that dude at a Dawkins concert, yeah. <laughs> and I just love how they. Because to me, I'm in, almost embarrassed by a lot of the music that I listen to. So just to see that when I was a kid. 
because I, I like I was talking on my podcast about that 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 album Nevermind came out. Yeah, and it was like it just completely splintered. You know, all the hair metal and all that shit. It was just like it was gone. I mean, I didn't. I really wasn't into it. I still listened. To, to uh, heavy metal, Motley Crue, I was yeah, still listening to right through and... about 93, 94. Then you I, didn't realize... like, I didn't like Pearl Jam. No. No. I didn't like his whole, when he's sitting there, like <laughs> yeah. that epileptic <laughs> look on his face. <laughs> yeah. 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 Happy to be here to have a hoo I still don't like you it. You were born into, <laughs> yeah. It's like blonde fucking girly <laughs> yeah. poodle hair. That shit, yeah. yeah. I, went to a, I went to a Stones concert uh, uh, not, not a while back, and, and Motley Crue opened for him. And oh my the, God. The, the best part about this whole show, it was out in Seattle, was that a lot of parents brought their young children because I guess they wanted to be. Uh, look at that. Who's left their phone? The Pentagon. It's Pentagon. Uh, <laughs> I need a place to oh stay. Oh my for God. A few days. It's, it's Exxon Mobile. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, uh, <laughs> anyway, I went to this thing, and all these parents, I guess, wanted to bring their little kids. Uh, because they wanted to show them, look, this is the hey. stones, you know, these are the stones, and, <laughs> and how cool are your parents? And uh, so I had the best time watching as Motley Crue came out with the strippers and the dwarfs and the oh, flames yeah, the and the, the Jägermeister, and they just went crazy. On, and all these little eight, nine, and ten year old boys were just, oh my. And, they, and they, had the, they had the strippers on the on the stilts, you know, twirling the tassels, and, and all these 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 uh, young guys that are out there, you know, with their dads suddenly looking up at their dads, thinking, "You are very very cool." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is the best show. How were the Stones? Uh, it's, uh, they were, you know, what they were good. They were good. I've, you know, I've seen a lot of Stone shows. I'm a big fan, but uh, what? Yeah. At, at a certain point, you yeah. got to hang up the the gear, you know. I think and y- yeah. call it quits. Yeah. What year was it? It was about, uh, I think it was a couple years ago now. Three, three years ago, maybe. Yeah. So. Uh, that happened with uh, The Who so many years ago. I went to go, go see The Who uh, at the garden and was just like, oh boy, this isn't The Who. They're just kind of, Pete Townsend looked like an old vicar. He's just kind of <laughs> standing up there, not hearing anything he's playing. Uh, he's tried two windmills and threw his arm out. It's just, <laughs> it's just not the who. The who had like that I'll attitude. Tell you the, the best one is, is Aerosmith. You go see them, and they still move around. And the whole the, it, it just this seems like it's still the seventies, except they're not on drugs. But I, I saw, uh, I've seen a couple. When I went to go see Van Halen, yeah, Eddie and Alex were unbelievable, like musicians or whatever. But like, just because David Lee Roth, I mean, at some point you can't kick your your foot. <laughs> yeah, foot all yeah. So he was coming out now, and he was looking like you know, like a like a Taurus imitating a rocket, <laughs> just being able to get it maybe like halfway up to his cap. It was just oh, that's sad. No, it is because yeah, then you go, yeah. oh my god, they're old. I'm old. We're all gonna die. You start thinking about mortality. <laughs> like, you're supposed to be having fun. Yeah, you're thinking about singing like about Mean Streets and shit. You're uh, like, oh. Oh my God! Yeah. One of the one of the first times that happened uh, to me was uh, I went to go see Blue Oyster Cult. <laughs> Love right. Blue Oyster Cult. Nice. Saw them at the Black and Blue concert. Don't fear and the was, Reaper. Oh, that, one? that was one of their fucking commercial hits. Man, what are you talking right. about? <laughs> I'm talking about astronomy and fucking ME two sixty two. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. So, so I, I, I went. I went to go see him. It, it was the Black and Blue show at the Garden. It was uh, Black Sabbath, Sabbath and Blue the Cult, and it was fucking well, loud. And this was really a long with time Dio ago. With Dio or Ozzy? Like, uh, it was with Dio. Okay. And it was. It it's was a great name years for a ago. tour. It was great. Yeah. And it was fucking loud and just rocking. The place was hot and fucking rocking. Just smelt of adolescent boys. <laughs> Jesus, that was horrible. Now it just became creepy. Yeah, yes, it did. Right. No, it was, it, was, it was awful. No, it was, it was a great show. But uh, th- then I went to go see Blue Eyes to Cult a, a few years later. It wasn't even that much later, but they were playing some dive place in Huntington, some theater. And I went in there, and uh, I was actually able to carry on a conversation with the person next to me while they were playing uh, their music. I was like, oh, that's not yeah. loud anymore. And and they're just kind of going through the motions. Kansas and, opened for them. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of yeah. those kind of uh, kind of deals. It was just. Ugh. Oh yeah, Van Halen. I was just like, I was so thinking. And then I just started thinking, like these guys wrote all those, all those great songs when they were about fifteen years younger than I am right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, I'm a loser. Yeah, yeah. I am a fucking loser, and I'm gonna die. When you start thinking, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> When you have vivid memories of people that were younger than you are now doing shit, you know, it's like, you know, I think like fucking, you know, Neil Armstrong was walking on the moon. He was fucking like 32 or something. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably older than that. No, he was was in his 30s at the time. It's like 
Fuck. There's a number of uh, of there's a number. Have you seen that clip? What you want to talk about a conspiracy theorist? This guy <laughs> calling somebody a coward. One of those astronauts. It's some and he's this Buzz Aldrin. Oh, and punch the guy, Buzz Aldrin punched him in the face. Dude, that punch. I can't believe that fatty didn't go down. I would have gone down if I took that <laughs> shot. He hits him with this straight. He Buzz calls, Aldrin. He's, he's, a he's, man. A great, he's a great guy. Oh yeah, yeah. he's a great guy. Dude, he's he, and he goes, you're a guy. He kept going, you're a coward and a liar. And like those words, I think with this generation don't mean anything. But that's he comes from that. Why I that's oughta. Like, that's shit. like calling someone yella. Yeah, yeah, that, yella. That, <laughs> yeah, that you, like your rep meant something back in the day. Yeah. Like I think we've lost that somehow. So him calling him a coward and a liar when he's in the street, you see him start to kind of go from and the woman he's with go, no, 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 <laughs> relax, yeah, relax. He's like, nah. Buzz is a fucking man's man. Yeah, it was okay. Let's talk conspiracy about landing on the moon. This yeah. is this is this we is, had to get there. I, this, I, know. This, I would like to hear what there. they say. Okay, yeah. this is my uh, thing. If we never did it, uh huh, don't you think the Russians would have exposed us? Don't you yes. think they could have fucking figured it out? And, well, no, I, I think the, exactly. Yes, they were the in Russians on it. were in on this. It was yeah. a, a, a yeah. mutual conspiracy. Now, come on. See, what I'm showing here is that I'm a rational human being. I'm not, I'm not the guy. They gave us the is fake true. landing on the moon in exchange for being able to put ICBMs in certain countries that we normally wouldn't have allowed. Yeah. Sort of like the Turkey-Cuba uh, deal. Dude, we, I swear, we if you talk little... for another yeah. three minutes on that, I would actually buy it. <laughs> <laughs> when you get someone like Buzz Aldrin, that, like you said, old school man's man, doesn't like his... He's a cranky thing. man. Yeah, he's a cranky, he's a cranky, he's a cranky man. old fuck. But that motherfucker... <laughs> Sat on more fuel than it would have blown him to the moon without a ship. And he's calling him that's his fat. Uh, uh, yeah. He lands on the fucking moon, takes a stroll, hops in something that they don't even know if it's going to leave the fucking place, then leaves, makes it all the way back to Earth. So some fat fuck years later could call him a coward? Yeah. 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 Fuck you. He the, deserved a, more than a punch. I was hoping. And Buzz Aldrin is not going to get in any trouble. He didn't get in any trouble for that. No. Nope. Not uh, a, not no. Who's going to get Buzz fucking, in trouble? What yeah. are you going to do? Put yeah. him on trial. I mean, it's a... It's a it, that would be the official yeah, end of this hero. country. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, just, yes. that's, that's it. But there's something about what you're saying. You know, you think about what the, what, what the fuck's wrong with us now, right? We... we you know, we can't, oh, my God, I don't know, we don't want to have a space program. Oh, my God, we don't want to do this. Yeah. We don't want to, and it's not just the space program. But it wasn't that long ago when they were strapping duct tape around one of these things. Saying, well, I don't know, maybe it's going to get there. I don't know, maybe it won't. Yeah, you yeah. Know, let's, let's give it a try and see what happens because, it, you know, it's a pretty good idea. It was risk cool. versus reward. Yeah, right. and, and the reward was always huge. And when you look at the space program and a lot of the military technology, that's where we got everything from. You couldn't put a fucking dumb frozen dinner in a microwave oven if it wasn't for the space agency and, and the military. And all those uh, secrets we took from the Germans. Well, of course. After World War II. Those Nazis, those uh, they were very smart people. <laughs> I got to tell you. Audio tape. They had a lot got, of good stuff. <laughs> by, by the way, I was so drunk one time, I, put a, I did put a TV dinner in the metal tray in a microwave <laughs> oven. That, that'll arc yeah. a little, won't it? Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> Got in the next room and laid down on the floor. And it, it, yeah. room three rolls of microfilm. I had. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the fun. I blew up Boy, did we house. pay for that? You two, you two went down because of my fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> when, I oh, in, when, when I was when I was a kid, they told me I should be an astronaut. Cause I took on space. Ooh, Chip. <laughs> you are the worst, Chip. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> I know, it's just the worst. <laughs> you know what it is? He's so good at it that I actually get angry at Chip. Yeah, it's very mad. Yeah, he's, he's infuriatingly angry I now. Get, yeah, because we're always on like yeah. a roll. I literally get mad at this fucking yeah. fictitious person. <laughs> it's not real. <laughs> You're terrible. Look at Jimmy giggling. It's like the greatest compliment he could have gotten. Yes. Literally, Bill couldn't have made me happier if he said I just went out and bought your HBO special. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what what fucking raves your uh, special is getting there, Bill? Oh my god! Yeah, because the guys like you, I, I appreciate putting the, you putting the word out. I I friggin' it was I, I was hanging out at home. I, I popped that thing on, and holy shit! Just beginning to end, and uh, believe me, the last ass I want to kiss is yours, Mr. Burr. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but beginning to end, there wasn't one lull in that fucking thing. It was well, hilarious. Thank you. You're Thank a you. fucking mental patient, and it, it's it's hilarious. Actually, I'm not, because the amount of people that go, I thought that same thing. That's what it makes me actually feel good, and the amount of women that have violent thoughts. <laughs> yes, like I guess that was a bit I did on another one. I just you're like, all right, that yeah. makes me feel better. It was no, it, it's really good. So if you haven't got a chance to, uh, it's to well, see it's that. All, what happened was they 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 put it on net 
Netflix. Netflix yep. I go a little blue sometimes, Jim. Yeah, I don't no, know if you I realize. Don't, I don't go for that. Um, <laughs> but if that's what you need to do to get a <laughs> so then they could actually see my uh, my work. Right, right. You know, it's <laughs> fuck the, it, fuck, fuck. Was fuck it on Comedy the Central and Netflix? Yeah, it was on Comedy Central, and uh, you know they they have commercials, and they also right. have to bleep it at a certain sure. hour. Or so, and you know, I have an inability to write a joke without cursing. <laughs> 20 yeah. years in, I still can't do it. But uh, so when it went to Netflix, that's when people were able to uh, really see it. So, yeah, it Netflix cool too, is it awesome. Was, it was prominently displayed. Like, I didn't know it was out there. I didn't know it was on Netflix. And when I popped Netflix on, there was your picture, the the special. And it was right like, on the first page, it, man. It I can't like, believe yeah, it. Wow. It was right there. It was like, oh, fuck. I know what I'm. It, it's so nice not having to troll through things. You know, they're like 15 minutes. You're like, there's just shit on. Yeah. But it was cool. That just no, that's up. that's what's like, helped ah. me that it's on the first page. Yes. Is I got people that didn't know who I was and be like, who's this big headed jackass? <laughs> so <laughs> I need to talk about Netflix, too, because I don't know if I can get to that first page. I have a PlayStation 3 and that's how I go through. Yeah. And fucking uh, whatever it's called. It's, it's always telling me I need software updates, and I open up Netflix, and it's stuck on the suggestion page. If, but you, how do I, if you hit well, triangle. Does it say kill yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't it have been something not quite as harsh? I'm sorry, Jimmy. Like do a crunch. <laughs> do a crunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know how to do that. Once you're on in the <laughs> Netflix. Go for the <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair enough. I deserve that. <laughs> on the PlayStation, if you hit triangle, you can search. Oh. So then you just start typing Aww, shit in. Oh, look at the little oh, really? boy. Look at the but, little boy. But you only get three choices as a triangle. <laughs> oh, God. I what? Does not make any sense? I hate him. I hate Chip. <laughs> he is the worst <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> oh, it's <sighs> always... Yeah. Silence. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you knew the re- he breathes <laughs> silence. If you knew and the reward, that thick, buttery silence and is awkwardness. What a gift. Chip likes to see how polite waiters and waitresses can be by doing worse and worse jokes and seeing how oh, long see, they'll they, they politely will laugh. Chuckle. They'll politely laugh. You're tipping them, yeah. At every th- <laughs> dumb thing Chip says. <laughs> oh, you think he just does it on the radio or or at people's houses that he knows or something? No, like, no. no. It's out in public. Uh, to... Do you know my ex used to hate we'd be out to dinner or something and fucking she'd order something and Chip would always say to the waiter, how much does that cost? <laughs> she, she'd get so fucking humiliated. That's embarrassing yeah. as fuck. Yeah. And of course, once you found out that that bothered her, made it just oh, else. Jesus it's over. Christ. Oh, yeah, Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy loves just jumping on things he knows annoys. Those are the things that have protected me from a domestic violence charge. <laughs> Those are the things. Those These are the ways. A few of my favorite <laughs> things. <laughs> Those are the ways you do it. Yeah. But Netflix, I was having problems, so I haven't seen uh, your uh, thing on the front page. I couldn't get. To, I, I went to the suggested. Uh, it oh. didn't take me there. You poor boy. I know. Hmm. You gotta. Uh, you gotta figure all that stuff out. I've got so much computer equipment and shit hooked up to my TV now. It's uh, various things. I don't even use DVDs anymore. Everything is, is your just jacuzzi on hard like drives. filled up with like a vintage w- red wine. Yes, actually, Cristal. <laughs> <Just, laughs> uh, I don't even have to turn the jets on. It bubbles uh, automatically. It's truffle with oil. natural carbonation. Yeah. <laughs> he did. He taking tips from you now on how to ball uh, over there. Uh, uh, one thing I do that's uh, really, really bad for uh, I guess the environment, but I don't give a flying fuck. Uh, I have two You'd be such pool a great heaters. head of a, of a corporation. Oh, I, 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 I guess yeah. this is bad for the I environment. Be. That would yeah. be hilarious. But I don't care because we are <laughs> organisms on this planet meant to be here. And r- whatever whatever exhaust we put off is part of nature. It's natural. We use our resources much like animals use their resources. We just happen to, you know... Uh, burn things and uh, melt things and put things together. Yeah, this penicillin, that was a tipping point. Yeah? It allowed the weak to survive. Oh. Mm. That's why. Well, that's this, this, a this, very this vicious not, I, 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 thing I, I, I don't disagree Bill. with that theory. Yeah. There's, there's, there's not a, there's, uh, there's nothing wrong with driving a car with a V8. There's just too many people. Is people that what gotta it is? go. And that's why they're building these camps around the country. It, Bill uh, Burr, going to be at Columbus Funny Bone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it would have been. It, it would be nice to have all those cool things that fuck the earth up if there were less people. Is what you're saying? Oh, that's a dangerous conversation, that, and those are thoughts I've had. I, yeah. <laughs> if there were less people, I could get. I could get my company to be the one big company. The center. one big one. Yeah. And, and yeah. all you need is one, and they wouldn't even have to bully everybody. Because it would just. You, you'd only need one. Day. I'm sure we're the only people who think these kinds of things. Yeah. The only people. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I I have two fucking pool heaters that I run 
uh, to bring the pool temperature sometimes up to 85 degrees. Not the jacuzzi. Oh, doesn't that the make you nauseous? Pool. No. It's great. Because, because when it's hot, hot out, when it's 95 degrees out, and you go into an 85-degree pool, there's no delay. You don't have to stop at your crotch and your nipples and your armpits going, ooh, ooh, ooh. You jump right in, and then when you get out, you're nice and cool. You really are Mr. Burns. It's great. <laughs> and then, but sometimes Ooh, I forget to turn it off, and it gets really hot. And then I turn it off, and then I forget to turn it back on. So the temperature's swinging from about 72 degrees to 85 degrees, and, and I just crank it. And my, my fucking my electric meter wheel is spinning like a, f- a fucking table saw what, blade. What is your electric bill? Three figures, four figures. Last month's electric bill, and, and believe me, it drops way off in the winter. But the summer with the pool heaters, the air conditioner going, um, I have a lot of lights, outdoor decorative lighting. That, the, that TV goes studio, on. The, t- the TV studio. The TV gun studio, range. The, the laser m- tag section. The many, <laughs> the many uh, various refrigeration units I have for the bar, the lighting, bodies. the lighting for the studio, the movie theater. The laser beams. Thing. Yes, yeah. there's a lot of uh, things going on. It's about 3500 a month. For uh, electric, dude, you you live in a strip mall, yes, with a multiplex. It's good. somebody said they, they they had sent like what they pay for electric bills for their companies, and one guy ran like a sheet metal shop and you know has electronic fucking cutting machines and plasma <laughs> cutters and and didn't have a, an electric bill like that. But that's only during the summer. But you know what? I enjoy my summers, and I want to <laughs> be able to have people over and. And enjoy the yard. Every the night is like the first ten minutes of grease at your house. <laughs> it really, <laughs> it really is. is just a lot of laughs. <laughs> it's just a blast, isn't yeah. it? No, uh, at your house gets rave reviews. Uh, you never been there? No, oh, I'm, I. Got yeah. it. Uh, you're not. I asked DeRosa one night. I go, "How's it. Anthony's house?" He goes, "Ah, oh, it's great." DeRosa, uh, we had we had a pisser over there. It was. Uh, uh, I'm having a giant fucking Labor Day party on uh, Sunday before Labor Day. So it's Sunday what, what before day? Monday. It's Sunday. This so, Sunday? Uh, it would be that would be no the 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 next Sunday. I'm in New, I'm in Jersey. I could have made it yeah, this Sunday. Now, the good news is I'm around, so that sounds, that sounds great. I I'll got, be there. I got I'll your bring card. the kids. Just I'll bring the children. To investigate. I got your card. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll go out to the range, blast a few yeah, rounds off. That's it. I'd like to I'd like to see uh, your shooting prowess there, my friend. Uh, that's I was talking to you earlier. I think yeah. we should both uh, I gotta ask, make a bit for Top Shot. And, yep, I got I gotta ask cool. you guys questions yeah. about guns because I was oh. thinking about getting one and where somebody, do you live? Los Angeles. Oh boy. Oh that's a very gun friendly city. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody told me somebody keeps telling me for home invasion you want to get a shotgun. Everyone says that. Which I don't understand. It's, I just want to kill the guy. I don't have to do all this plaster work behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be hanging drywall. Because yeah. uh, uh, they say, obviously, I was in I was in Reno. Oh, that's funny. And, uh, dude, I went to this place, Bizarre Guitar and Gun Shop. They, on one side, was a strip mall. On one door, there was these unbelievable vintage guitars. On the other side, they had the, these guns. And every gun I was in looking at, I was like, oh, my God, that's the Dirty Harry gun. And he goes, you don't want to get that one. He goes, if you miss, you're going to kill, like, the, the six the four, neighbors. Yeah, exactly. Mag, yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. got a huge kick. So, so, what should I get for home invasion? And he even he said he, he said like a nine millimeter or a a, a, a shotgun. I, what I do you guys think? I don't like a shotgun for uh, for home protection. It's it, not good in tight spaces it, either. It, yeah, that's what it is. Well, it it's depends that, on the shotgun. It depends on the on the weapon you get. I mean, for a legal eight what is it eighteen inch barrel in New York uh, State, it's still pretty big. Uh, I don't know. They're good, and a lot of people say that just the sound of racking one is a deterrent. The, everybody but, well, says you know that. You I don't, don't buy that. The sound. You don't want to say, "Hey, come I, on, I'll do it again." Yeah, you then know, you the might guy's as well coming up the stairs. Then you might as well have a tape recorder yeah. with the fucking yeah. sound of a fucking yeah. shotgun. You, you got to be think, able yeah, to have that's a weapon an urban that works. myth because everybody says just a mere sound. Are you doing that? Yeah. I, I think that's like, bullshit. oh, that's, well, so no well, one's ever been shot with it. People know it is, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to deter, you know, yeah. the guy that's coming up the set. And then but, you uh, hear his go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and now yeah. you know there's a gunfight. You hear but three you know, of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, three simultaneous. It's, it's, it's good because it's, it's, it's an easy weapon to function. Mm. You don't have to have a lot of experience with it. Uh, you can have you crusties can, in your eyes and yeah. still hit your target. You can, exactly. You can generally hit yeah. the target. It's the training wheels yeah. of uh, guns. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and for, so for most people, you know, you know, a handgun, hey, you know, that's hit or miss. You'd be amazed at the statistics in terms of, of uh, gunfights in, in oh, yeah. you know, like in the NYPD. They're, They're very close range, and the percentage of hits 
per misses is astoundingly yeah. low. I, I totally, oh, I, that amazed me that cops are like that, but I went, sh- I went shooting in Houston. Feet, seven feet yeah. of each I other. I wonder if that's is, subconscious. I wonder if, like, when we have fist fights in life, we, we pull back a little bit sometimes because, you, you, you know, we don't want to be apes and murder each other. I wonder if that's a really weird subconscious a lot of A lot of what happens in a, a gunfight from the normal distance, which I said is like within seven to ten feet, uh, you're concentrating more on not getting shot than you are shooting the oh. other person. It's like watching so, basketball players fight, where they have their heads all the way yeah, back. Yeah, their heads are all the way back, and their arms are gone. Yeah, so flailing. no matter how professional you are, unless, I mean, I mean, if you're well-trained, you're, you're going to do what you're supposed to do. But uh, And that's what you have to do. You have to just keep go- working it over and over and over again, because... You get in a situation like that, like a lot of high-stress situations, and, and everything starts to shut down. And you start getting tunnel vision, and you start to lose your hearing, and you start losing all your, all your fine muscle control. So, you know, right. like, essentially what's happening is the only thing that's working is your legs because, you know, you're, 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 <laughs> Run. you're, you're trying Run. to tell you to get the hell out of there. You know? And so, yeah. so that's, that's a big part of it. You I know, mean, Bernie gets described – we had him on a couple times years ago, and he mm-hmm. described the shootings. And what, mm. what, just what you're saying happened. Mm. Everything kind of got quiet around him, and he folk. It's, it's a really weird thing, I think, that happens to your body. It's like the ocean. You know, you hear the ocean in your in your ears, and you you kind of like this, and 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 it's very it's very difficult. Oh, and, and how quite many frankly, guys is he killed? You know, by the seven way. to ten yards. Love I mean, you know. should be you should be turning around and running the other way, or looking for you know cover. And, your legs are you know. stronger at those moments. You think? Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, everything's going there. Everything's going to your big muscles, right? To, to just kind of <laughs> get the head. <laughs> yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Get out. Leave, yeah. leave. That goes that we, we, had, we had a cop one time. I beat him with my wood. <laughs> we, 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 we had a cop one time uh, talking about all that stuff on Uninformed. And yeah. he was talking the old days with the police re- revolver. He said, like, guys, the first time they, they pulled their weapon, he said by the time they had it at the target, they were empty. They were so freaking <laughs> yeah, out. They're like, bang, 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 <laughs> click, 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 Shooting click, click. on the way up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Just freaking out. Oh, yeah. man. I, could, I can't imagine how they used to get the six rounds in off of their autoloaders. That, that fucking old thing you'd stick right. in and, and, right. and press the shaking like that. It's hard enough to slap a clip in, I'm sure. Magazine. What's what's me. more tense in a gun sh- a gun <laughs> scene when, when there's fucking a guy behind a car and there's bullets? He's like, fuck, and, and he's he trying can't. to reload. Yeah, that's that's. Well, there's Scarface. Tense. There's a great one, yeah. Scarface, when the gun jams. And he's trying. What a fucking tense yeah, moment that is. That. Well, there's, some, there's some, actually some amazing uh, uh, case studies that you look at. You know, of of, of uh, shootouts involving law enforcement and. You know these guys are you know trained right. I mean they they're, they're working. This yeah. is what they do. But you know they'll get into a into a uh, into a gunfight. And it is. It's these little things. They can't get a magazine seated again. You know, they can't reload. They can't. And, and, and people just start. And part of it is what you're talking about. You're worried about getting shot, right? Yeah. Which is a pretty natural thing. Yeah. But Ant said that. I yeah. gave the pussy answer to it. Uh, he said that they're really nice guys and they don't want to shoot people. <laughs> I suck. What a non-man answer that was. But you want home, you yeah. want home defense. Get, get, I, I'd, I'd say uh, a shotgun. Get yourself a, a, a shotgun. And then, and then talk to... Anthony about the big guns. Shotgun's yeah. good for, you know, uh, like, yeah, just entry-level home defense. Uh, if you're going to get – and people always say, I want to pick up a pistol for home defense. What should I get? Mm. And it's like, which you should get training, motherfucker. Because oh, no, no, abso- then absolutely. You'll, then absolutely. you'll figure out what you need, what you can handle. Like, I don't know how big the fucking hand is. If it's for a chick, it's for a guy that, you know, what, what, one eye, whatever. Uh, I want to listen to metal, man. Who should I listen to? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so it's like well, that's the worst question anyone could ever is ask. A six is, shooter, and, is a six shooter? Is a six shooter? Six shooter. Listen to your old west. <laughs> but is, is, is revolver a, is one that yeah is, is yeah. one that you put in a revolver better? Like it's not going to jam. Uh, they are more dependable as far as jams, but if you you keep a gun clean. Uh, that's the biggest fucking thing. Do you have uh, a day of the week when you just go through all of you? I clean after I go to the range. It might not be the same day, but do you have names for your guns? A couple of days. No, I do Charlene. not name my yes. guns. Charlene. <laughs> Betty. But I make sure within within a couple of days I wind up clean. If I take them, because last time I went to the range, I took just about every gun I had down to the range and fired them all. So now, how do you how how, how do you legally do transport those? The, the bullets have to be like in the glove no, box. No, not or? not not in New York. Uh, if I wanted to go through a state where I'm not licensed, I to a state where I have reciprocal licensing. Like if I want to go to uh, Pennsylvania, I have a license right. in Pennsylvania, but I can't I carry in Jersey. So in order to, I, to go through Jersey, I would have to take you have to my drive gun. the speed limit. Yeah, uh, believe me. Yes, take the gun. Uh, put it in a locked box, take the ammo, put it in a separate locked box. This is for pistols. And uh, 
put them in separate places in your vehicle. If you have a trunk, they go in the trunk. If you have an SUV, they can't be together. Um, and no hollow points. Not allowed to have any fucking hollow points at all in Jersey, which is great. They like shit flying through walls, I guess, uh, and through people. I'd rather have a. Well, what, what exactly? Hollow what's a hollow point, point do? Hollow point uh, mushrooms inside somebody, so it doesn't fly through. It pretty much rips them up inside, and it doesn't go through them and through another person or a wall. Uh, it stop. It pretty much stops. A it hollow kills point. What it hits. It's, yeah. it's what I made during our discussion <laughs> about why people are inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like uh, I like hollow points. They're good. I got a nine That's millimeter. A, That's just it's, I feel safe. Oh uh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. What 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 uh, brand is it? What make? Fucking yeah. Tyco Magnum. <laughs> mag, mag Magnum. PI. No, I, I want to invent a gun hat that you can actually <laughs> like. You can lock your gun on one they, side. They've made. There is a gun. <laughs> they've made guns out of everything, and they have made gun hats, gun belt buckles, uh, gun rings, miniature just cane, miniature guns. Old the old cane. Yeah. yeah. I like the, the penguins with gas day. coming out of it. That's always more <laughs> effective. Like your ass. See, <laughs> 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 <Seek> gas. <laughs> right. No, then, then you get yourself a, a pistol when, uh, you know, you, you go down to the range, you see some shit, you go, ah, I like that one, I like that. It's weird, though, to be in states where you're not allowed to even touch a fucking handgun. Mm. Like, New York is one of those states, unless you're licensed, you can't even go into a store and say, could I see that, and feel the grip, and, and you're not allowed to touch a handgun in New York State. Unless you're licensed. I went shooting in uh, Houston one time. The only thing, oh, they'll the only, fuck you. The only time... <laughs> they'll throw I, your guns at the gas station. The only, time, the only thing I got hit the target with was the uh, was with the shotgun. <laughs> if it was far away. And uh, and but he, he this guy, uh, he had everything. He had a Glock. The Glock was all right, but when it was far away, I couldn't hit it. Really? I just could not hit it. But was, when it's I, far away, you don't need to be shooting at it. I mean, that, yeah, yeah, it I mean, is true. Yeah, 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 it's it's, it's yeah. fun to be able to hit your mark at distance with a pistol, but practically for, for defense... You're never going to be that far when you're trying to defend yourself. Yeah, it's, but all the movies I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take, take him out. And yeah. the guy's like a block away. Yeah, I'll shoot the gun out of his hand. No. No, no. All you do is just put the pistol across your forearm. Yeah, you across close your one forearm. Arm. Yeah, like a major Turn your horse D. to yeah. the side. Yeah. yeah. I think for for, for uh, fire control, for weapons discipline, I think all you got to do is watch some of this video coming out of Libya. I think it. They, there you go. give you a good idea of what to get for the it, home and how, to, and how to use a weapon. And pray. Yeah. Here's a question <laughs> I have. Like when fucking Saddam used to make those speeches in front of like a hundred thousand people, yeah. and he would shoot the rifle up in the air. Where does that bullet <laughs> go? go? Gravity <laughs> still exists. Where does it go? Uh, MythBusters did a whole thing on that and determined that a bullet um, would not be fatal if it was shot in the air and then came down. Terminal velocity is two hundred. I, yeah. I beg Man. to differ with MythBusters, uh, I, I, but yeah. I've heard of people that have been killed like that. So they, I think they said it was plausible, but not probable. Well, I, I used to uh, in, uh, in the old days. We did some work in the Philippines. Um, oh, a little work and, in the uh, Philippines, he yeah. calls it. Yeah, we yeah. did that. Right. On behalf, not, not, not for the agency, on behalf of banks. Oh! Uh, yeah, yeah. We were, <laughs> we're we trying were, to consolidate we were trying to, We were trying to, you know, to, yeah, to yeah. rape their resources, I'll basically. Eliminate a few. Um, and, uh, but every every Christmas, they would go None of crazy. that was a joke to me. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they, would, uh, they would go crazy. And inevitably, you would lose somebody, uh, some kid in the village, because they'd be out there firing off their weapons. And somebody would get hit by a straight bullet. Hit. They actually had to, they would come out with government warnings saying, "Please, you know, stop firing your guns up in the air." Wow. Yeah. Oh, and they were shooting straight up in the yeah, air. Yeah, shooting straight up, and some, you know, somebody in the village would get hit. How fast is a bullet going when it leaves a gun, as opposed to when it's coming back down at terminal velocity? Good well, fucking question. Terminal yeah. velocity's wow. got to be two hundred seven miles. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, what are you going? Uh, yeah, it's a logarithmic function. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. and it depends on straight up, straight down. As opposed to uh, arcing, if if you're holding it at like 45 degrees and shoot it up in the air, mm -hmm. you have a lot better chance of killing somebody that way than you do straight up and straight down because you are still getting some of the uh, yeah. Because if yeah. it's straight up, it's going to stop, then it's just going to fall like then anything it's else. Fall would. Yeah. like yeah, anything else. You, hard, you hardly ever like get into a gun speed. battle where you, you you just try to hit the other guy by aiming straight up in the straight air. Straight up, and just do yeah, this. Yeah. Now. I think yeah. I, I'm <laughs> going to get my elevation. Yes. <laughs> that happened Fire for effect. That happened to me once um, when no. I was in Apocalypse Now at a bridge. <laughs> Go home, GI, GI. <laughs> get the roach. Yeah, the roach. <laughs> you know what I wonder too? Like, if you were strapped to a missile 
And it got fired. <laughs> Honestly, how long would it take you to die? If they could somehow do it where you wouldn't be ripped off limb from limb. Like if they could build something on the outside of a missile and you could be shot straight up, how long until you were dead? What would actually kill you? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Probably are get you, hit by a seagull or are something. Are you covered with anything? No. All you got to do is just look back in the day when they were trying to set the altitude records and they had no idea about anything and they would send these balloons up yeah. and people would come back down and they would just be out, whatever that altitude Frozen. is. What, 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 I like, what I like about your question, Jimmy, is, is that that's the same question that my four-year-old would ask me. Yes. Yeah, absolutely the same thing. And it's the thing. same question the coyote pondered many times <laughs> while chasing the roadrunner. It's... The, Somebody tried to tell me that this fucking happened, that some kid was running away from his parents, you know, running away, and, and he went to the airport, some small airport. I, I just refuse to believe this is true. And he tried to do the Schwarzenegger thing where he held onto the landing gear. Oh, shit. And he just went up there, and he got mushed. Yeah, probably was. And then yeah. when they brought the landing gear down, there were just body parts raining out. Yeah, that's that probably was true. It happens a lot. They'll find uh, people trying to hitch rides that way, too. They freeze to death, yes. or they get mushed, or they some freeze to death. Some people have made it. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. amazing. But I'm just wondering, after 9-11, how you're able to wander out onto the tarmac. Yeah, and just <laughs> latch onto a landing gear. Yeah. Running <laughs> alongside it like Dave Chappelle and Con Air. <laughs> <laughs> Like how are you able? How are you able to do it? Is anybody? I uh, figured someone would jump on the internet and I don't disprove think, that um, quickly. No, no, I, I, it's been done. I guess it depends on the plane too. If if you got a nice big roomy mm. fucking landing gear compartment, which they're not going to have. There's enough room. <laughs> yeah, there's usually enough room just, just for whatever. Just for it what is. they need Very to do. Room for pillows and a yeah, nightstand. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, a fridge. So curl up. And, <laughs> hey, did a guy break the record? Because you ever see footage of the guy jumping? From, oh, uh, I think God. it's a hundred thousand feet or one hundred twenty thousand feet where he jumps it's out of the balloon. Insanity! It's, it's from like the late fifties, early sixties, where he was testing. Guy's something. in a spacesuit. In a spacesuit, in like a, hot a Mercury air balloon. spacesuit, and uh, he jumps out, and you see the curvature of the Earth. He's in fucking space yep. for the most yeah. part. And he, you see that? I mean, no. Th yeah, and there's a guy. He, he's I think Red Bull is sponsoring it. Yes. Right. This guy is going to try to go like he he's so high up that if like something crazy, like if the mass thing rips off, like your saliva will instantly start boiling in your mouth. <laughs> like just insane, oh, insane shit. shit like that. Some kind of sci fi. Crap yeah, we just like, you, yeah. yeah, which I, I you know, it's saliva, it's like not... how close to the sun is this guy? <laughs> I, think, I think Buzz Aldrin. Is doing that. I yes, think that's, yes. He's the guy. He's, he's proving he's not a coward or a liar. <laughs> no, this guy is going to try to. He's, he's going to try to jump straight, like dive almost, like a dive to try to break the uh, sound barrier. Uh, I know who you mean. I, Break yeah, the sound yeah. barrier with his own body. With his just... own body, but it's uh, it's from a higher altitude. I want to say it's higher by twenty thousand feet, and they were going to do it once, but there was a malfunction, so that he didn't right. jump. But uh, mm -hmm. he wants to dive like head first. This other guy basically just opens the door and in a horrifying moment steps off at 100,000 feet and falls. That's crazy. Do you realize how fucked you are after you do something like that and survive it? And people just go, hey, you want to go to Magic Mountain? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. But wasn't, yeah. wasn't that nothing is scary after that? You're just Every bored, shitless. Gone. Your wife is just, I just want you to enjoy something. <laughs> nothing gets you going anymore. And then the guy dies falling off a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging up holiday stockings. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, that's terrible. But yeah, I want to see. That, that hasn't happened yet, right? No. That guy breaking that record? No, yeah, and that, uh... like, that, that, that should definitely be pay-per-view, and there's no way. I, I would cancel a stand-up gig to yeah, watch yeah. a guy try and do something like that. We, uh, there, were, there were a couple of uh, horrific accidents at air shows over the weekend. Oh, I know. That one wing walker, uh, they, they were showing that on the news. Ad nauseum. What happened? Uh, well, this uh, wing walker decided uh, he was going to be out on the wing. He's going to walk out walk, on a wing. Where they walk. Hmm. And uh, a helicopter was coming down over the top of the plane. And he was then going to grab onto a strap that was on the uh, pylon of the helicopter, yeah. the skid. And then the helicopter pulls away from the plane. And he's dangling from the helicopter. Yay, look what I did. Uh, well, it was uh, it was windy, they said, which is kind of an odd thing because mm. the plane's going forward. I would think even on a still day, it's windy when you're on a yeah, wing. There's a, a breeze. A plane, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah and the right. helicopter went in there, and um, he went to grab for the strap. It looked like the helicopter pilot or the plane, the plane pulled thought, away. Yeah, thought yeah. he had it, and the plane pulled away, and the guy didn't have it and tumbled off and fell 200 feet uh, to his death. Oh, um, he didn't live? 
No, <laughs> 200 <laughs> feet. Figure. And they showed him, like, tumbling. I haven't seen a clip where he hits the ground, but he didn't it looked like he, they have video No parachute. That. That's part of the daredevil I side guess, of it. you know, yeah. daredevil, no 200 parachute, feet. no safety yeah, 200 line. 200 feet, that parachute's not going to... Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. What am I thinking? Unless you land on it, you know. Maybe yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you got to have it where you have it in, like, the base jumper. you got to right, have right. Exactly. reach for the strap oh. and, and throw that little <laughs> handkerchief off. Let it go, yeah. The kerchief. Yeah. No, those air shows, I went to one... As an adult, and I couldn't get past them flying at each other, and I'm just like, if these fucking guys hit, I am covered in jet fuel, yeah, burning jet fuel. Yeah, yeah. This is into the, the crowd, this is the, and you just the faith you have. You're sitting there. It is amazing the faith you have. It's like, well, that's fucking uh, cool as shit, and you're thinking, oh. Yeah, I'm right under these fucking things. Oh, and they hit, yeah, part of the wing just, you know, severs 40 oh, yeah. heads. Yeah, they, when, they, they cross each other, you know, and they're right over your head. Yeah, mm. and, and even if they're not over your head, one wing comes off and the thing does a 90-degree turn spinning oh, somersault 35,000 yeah. RPM into the crowd. <laughs> yeah. And the pilot, of course, he ejects. <laughs> he ejects out safely. Ah, uh, jeez, I'm going to lose some stripes on this one. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, God. Uh, the wing, the wing came off. Yeah. Okay, Dude, look at these guys. Look at these. These guys shoot the way I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's uh, what I'm talking about. Video from Libya. Straight it, from Libya. Everything seems to be under control now. It's all yeah, good. Look at, look at that guy running and gunning. What is he hitting? And he's dressed like he's just going to go to work. Yeah. He's got like a polo shirt on. What yeah. I like is, is, is now we're in that phase. We're in that stage where we, we once again act surprised that... It's not all going really, really well. Yeah, and you know there wasn't there was that euphoria over oh it's democracy and, and self determination and this yeah. is fantastic and they've driven you know into the triple into, into the capital, and now you get the chaos. Now it's anarchy right. and, and just no, no one's there, in there's, charge. Yeah, there's about twelve hours of everybody smiling and hugging, and then everybody goes in and says, you know something who's watching the banks? Right. Yeah, where's right. the water? <laughs> right. Who's pumping the water? Is anyone working at the pump house? Uh, where's the electricity coming from? Who's running this fucking place, by <laughs> the way? Well, that's what they said. There was a loud sucking noise, as, you know, as they realized there's a power yeah. vacuum, because nobody is in charge. And yeah. they can't decide who's in charge, because they all want to be in charge. Yeah, they yeah, all yeah. feel like they need a piece of the action. And yep. this is gonna, it's not going to shake out quickly or well. Now, I went yeah. right there on the TV, they're saying, do we need oh, to institute a martial, plan, martial law in... Uh, uh, the Marshall Plan. The Marshall, yeah, Marshall Plan. plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. I yeah. mean, A, we don't have the money. And B, do we really want to get involved now in, in helping to build a another democracy? country? Not yeah. our country. Yeah. Yeah. We're supposed to now go into another country and, yeah. and try to set up a fucking democracy? Our problem, we care too much. <laughs> don't we? <laughs> Just giving aid. See, now he's fully on board with me. No, no, I don't yeah. buy it. Is good. No, I don't buy they don't give a. They don't give a shit about no. me. They don't give a fuck about them. If, they, if they're going to go over there, there's, there's some strategic reason to do it, or they're sitting on some goo that we can put in our cars. There's Other some than kind that. Of, I, th I think if there was an, a reason, if there had to be a reason, I would pick uh, stability, even though there's a complete lack of stability. How does, that, how, how does it affect there, my life? Just let me ask you this. Well, how, how does it affect my life if the fight they wanted to fight, and they're going at it, and they're shooting it up. I mean, I'm, it sucks for you guys, but like, Libya why do we have? Libya supplies a lot of European oil, no. and if there you they go. can't, that's what I if, just said. If, I knew well, it. yeah, but not, it's, it's damn it. You're not just as, feeding into his theory. No, I just said yeah, that's why yeah. they care, though. Yeah, but no, not but, as a let's It's take not about it. the people. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. It's not a theory. No, it's, no, it's I, 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 and I don't disagree with it. I, I, you know, I'm not saying that you know governments go in there and do things you know for altruistic reasons yeah. all the time, but. You know, they look at the stability issue, and there there are genuinely people out there that think, oh, if we could just build some sort of pseudo democracy here, this would be great, and then it would kind of like with a rock, it's gonna it it's gonna work. spread throughout yeah, the region. Yeah, it doesn't work. And you know, no. so now what do we got? But we, now we got a situation where we've got you know to make a decision pretty quickly, mm -hmm. and and the, the State Department and and the administration now here in the U.S. are already trying to figure out how can we backpedal on this just so that it, we're not there in a big way. Maybe we can help uh, with uh, setting up the elections, or maybe we can help write a constitution. Mm. That's not what they need. You know, look at look at those pictures coming. Yeah, yeah, there. they're yeah. gonna fucking sit down yeah. and go. Well, let's read this over. Why don't oh, we? That's ever, right. I don't know how to read. Why don't we <laughs> just ever mind our fucking business? Mind our own beeswax, I've Jimmy. Really, I've gotten so tired. Mm -hmm. I mean, of going in and trying. I don't, and I, I, I don't care. I'll, I'll build just oh, for one of these. Oh, oh, it's my passive aggressive way of saying I don't like your point. It's the China I, 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 I spilled it all over the keyboard. I'm more on, on both sides. It's a meltdown. It. Yeah, Sorry, I know. Bro. It's like being in the ocean or something with waves. Oh, God damn it. Oh, now I'm going to. When you're in chip, I'm throwing water at you. But it's. Uh, 
I'm tired of us minding everybody's business. Yeah. It's enraging. All the money we just fucking wasted. Uh, yeah. Throwing it. I don't care if Libya, I don't care what happens to Libya. Yeah. I don't care about their citizens because they're the ones that cheered when that fucking terror was just, fuck right. all of Here's them. Here's what happens though. I don't, the, the, the country destabilizes to the point where none of the oil gets Lefty, out to though. Europe and Russia. Uh, and now they got to get the royal from somewhere, so they start getting it. The demand goes up, and OPEC goes, hey, this is great. Let's raise the prices because now the demand's up, uh, and now we wind up paying more because that country is But we're paying more anyway, and that 180 or 300 million that we just fucking handed over, uh, they're not, gas is not going to go up higher where the average citizen is going to dump 300 more million dollars. Oh, I didn't say it's going to yeah. work. Believe me. It's, I no, no, it's, it, 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 it won't work. work. I mean, in, in no this, matter what you know, we do, to, whether it's Afghanistan, whether it's Iraq, Pardon. whether it's any of these places. I mean, we, 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 we create these stories about what's going to happen. And then we try yeah. to figure a way out of it. And you look at how we're trying to back out of Afghanistan mm -hmm. with the idea of being OK. And, and we still hear from Why some people talking about idea. how it's going to be OK. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be fine. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And that's a good point. We, and again, we can't get to that point where we can have that conversation where we say, you know what, okay, at one point it was a good idea. You know, we, we went in there, we tried. Uh, it's not in our national interest. Every nation works in its own best national interest. We're about the only ones that apologize oh, every yeah. time we get somewhere near that. How, how yeah. mad do you, yeah. do you think American citizens would actually be? I would be so relieved if they just, what were we thinking? Jesus, yeah, yeah. yeah. what a uh, dumb idea that was. Fuck All right. us, we're out of here. And yeah. frankly, you know, if they, and, and if they do allow it as a, as, a, as a base, because that's what you usually hear as a justification. Well, we we you know, it is our national interest. We can't allow it once again to be used as a base for foreign terrorists to you know reach out and strike it at our you know homeland. Well, if you know, we've got the ability to go back in there and 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 do it again. And and I you know I hate to say it, but you know, take out more of them, and that's what we should do. We should say, look, we're we're on our way out. If if you fuck up because the Taliban's coming back, yeah, hey, yeah. if we think we're going to leave Karzai and he's going to control that country, yeah, that's insane. So when the Taliban <laughs> comes back, we just let them know if you do this again, we're going to come back and and. And they, why can't they just the send the out. seals in? Mm -hmm. Those guys are bad at just do that. <laughs> why you got to send everybody over there? Just, just economically. Why can't we just send those guys? I mean, am I just pitching a Tom Cruise movie? Is yeah, that it's not no, crazy? Well, well, no. It's I mean, it is, I mean, you know, surgically, you know, going in there, monitoring what's going on. We've got the ability now to understand. Okay, are they are they creating alliances once again? Mm -hmm. Are they uh, allowing you know territory to be used for training camps? Are they working with other groups? You know, and then if if we have to, we go back in, we strike, we kill more of them. And and, and we get out. But we don't do this this thing that we've gone crazy about where we suddenly are spending you know, an ungodly amount of money and lives Time, to try man. to build some pseudo-stable, you know, workable democratic society in a place that doesn't yeah. understand it to begin with. Yeah, and to try to, b yep. to bomb politely. And it's, yeah. the, the, I, think I think we should mind our business. And if, if, if something like that does happen, the response should be fucking horrendous. Devastating. World War II, and I'm not talking about nuclear weapons, but I'm saying World War II type of a, a carpet bombing. Stop avoiding the city. If the citizens of that country yeah, are completely bombed out, war has then they to won't be, be as likely to allow that to fe fucking uh, yeah. fester their country. I don't like that whole thing with just, oh, well, we go, we'll bomb around no this. No one yeah. respects that. Uh, don't they don't respect that. That, uh, no. Well, you can't fight a, you know, a war is messy. You can't fight a war where you're, you're so risk averse. Then, and that's part. Yeah. Of, you know, there's so many reasons for that. Everybody's tweeting. Everybody's on YouTube. Everybody's watching exactly what's happening. Yeah. I mean, you think that you know, with D-Day, with the first day of the landings, oh, you shit. think that the country would have still been behind it if they'd been watching been, on TV. Get everyone out of there! Oh, leave! My God, it's a disaster. Horrified. Yeah. yeah. Instead, it was not put more guys on the yeah. beach. Fuck it. I mean, yeah, we, lost, yeah. we lost something like 35 or 36, I'm probably got my number wrong, but 35 or 36,000 thousand uh, yeah. flyers in the old Army Air Corps and, and you know, just a training accidents. <laughs> Planes yeah. going down to training accidents and, 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 and other, you know, mechanical malfunctions during yeah. the course of the war. And, yeah, and, could you imagine that yeah, now? No, absolutely uh, not. We, 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 we've developed a risk-averse world because, in part, we've got so much access to information that it's impossible to fight a limited, very aggressive, hostile action and have the public behind well, it. Well, then we shouldn't get our nose in it, like Jimmy said. Mind then, then, then we should mind business. our own business because we have, we have an inability now to fight effectively. That risk-averse thing is so trickled down. I was staying in a hotel in Nashville, and they... <laughs> wow, that is trickled they, down. They had, like, the voice in the elevator was just covering all angles so they could not get sued on any level. This fucking woman was telling me everything. Doors are closing. Fourth floor, doors are opening. Doors are closing. Like, oh, okay. Like,
We warned you. We warned you that they were opening yes. and closing. Like, like by the at, like, by the time I got to my floor after five people got off, I was like a little bit fucking loopy. <laughs> like I want to find this fucking woman. <laughs> Why do we still have uh, troops in Germany? Why do we spend money on troops in Korea? I don't give a fuck about the DMZ. I don't care if Kim Jong-il walks into South Korea. That's not my problem. Why are we wasting money keeping mm. troops in fucking Korea to, to have a demilitarized zone? Wait, was it 14,000 U.S. troops? Well, what we're not good at is we're not good at recalibrating in, you know, our, our, our actual interests over time. And so it's it's a very good question. You know, okay, we've always had troops in Germany. We're worried about what the Soviets are going to reconstitute yeah, and, and come so. across the border. Uh, you know, so, but we we see that time and time again. And so, yeah, you, we could have a very honest discussion about what actually is in our national interest, what actually is is important to our national security. And I, you would end up, if it was an honest discussion, and we had the wherewithal, you'd end up with a much uh, different configuration for our, how our military is deployed and used overseas. I think sometimes uh, it's deployed for purely economic purposes for the country that it's in as a favor, where they then pay us back. Like Germany, I'm sure they make a boatload of money off of our soldiers being there. Um, and, you know, yeah, it's if we the leave, they're sure. like, hey, our economy's fucked up. Where are you going? Uh, so we keep <laughs> soldiers there. It's it's the dumbest it's fucking thing. But it's also strategically a good thing. Cause For what? It, the Soviets, like you said, it's over. The Cold War's gone. It's, yeah, but I mean, if, well, even if you got well, if you got a problem in the Middle East, don't you have like planes and stuff you can fly from there to get, go over there? Well, we should, you, know, you need you need staging capability. Yeah, right. Staging, you need logistics, but, and you need but but that's what I was yeah, trying to say. Yeah, yeah, staging yeah, capability. Yeah, yeah. Aircraft carriers. Logistics. Yeah. He's aircraft totally carrier? stealing that phrase. By the way, yes, I'll be saying that in a bar at some point. I will intimidate the shit out of the other moron when I say, "Well, you got to have stage." Capabilities. Like, like, ah, fuck. This guy uh, reads. Burton knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're with the agency? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes we just sit Agent around Burr. in a safe house and talk like that to each other. <laughs> yeah. we, make, we make up new phrases. Make up yeah. cool new phrases. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. You know, I could talk about this all day, but it's one minute to ten, and I'm getting the fuck out of here on time every day this week. You really are fucking Pete Punctual. I certainly am. Hey, I come in on time, I'm leaving on time. Screw this. Kenny's waiting. My Escalade is purring outside. And you're going to hear the, the wheels screech at 10.05. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, Andy. You probably get know. good mileage in that Escalade. Oh, it's great. Mm. It's uh, fantastic. It's got a Big gas tank, so I could go far. <laughs> you actually get better it. mileage on the thing that takes the fucking rocket to the launch pad. <laughs> <laughs> Cape Canaveral I love thing. Yes, Cape Canaveral. Uh, Bill Burr, Bill Burr. Where I will have you to be? go to the. Com I want to go to your compound at some point. Um, yes. I would love for you to fucking come, especially before the, you know the summer's done. I Why don't mean, you come over Sunday night after the pool show, and shit. Yeah. When are you flying back to uh, L.A.? Monday. Dude, uh, this weekend. Monday you know morning. what? This weekend. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Well, the thing is, I'm out in Jersey, then i got to go all the way right, through right. New York, all the way to Long Island. Oh, and Jimmy will pick you up. Sure. <laughs> Unless you're too heavy and I won't. Hey, we were the other night, I was hanging out with some oh, comics, God. and we were trying to think of the most arrogant name you could come up for an hour-long special. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, I won. I won with Game Over. <laughs> <laughs> that is Can you imagine fucking that? arrogant. And you just dropping the mic. Yeah. Game over. Like, don't even try. Yeah. I'm done. There's no reason. The, sh the comedy special is a thing of the past. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Ugh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Brilliant. I think that was a bunch of good ones. Game that. over. Game over. <laughs> I, I hate it. Ugh. Bill Burr is playing uh, Stress Carnegie, Factories uh, this, this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Carnegie Hall, November Carnegie Hall. 11th. It's great. And Stress Factory uh, this weekend. A stress Factory this weekend, yeah. Thursday through uh, Sunday. Sunday, doing all the shows. 732-545-HA-HA. Ha. Uh, makes me laugh every time. That's Vinny's idea of a good, easy-to-remember phone number. Yes. Does it call the pay phone on stage? <laughs> oh, that dumb pay phone. Did he uh, finally get rid of that? Bit. No. I, probably still, I don't know if he uses it, um, but it's probably still there. Got I haven't done the Stress Factory in a couple of years, but I think it's still there. Yeah. Calling an airstrike with it. <laughs> and I have uh, Tampa in September. That's my only gig. Uh, Tampa out. when? Yeah, in September. Oh, that's it. You want to come over this weekend? No. Oh, oh. I, I do. Some, I'll get Can you snacks. fire weapons at your compound? <laughs> I wish I yeah. could. Only if I do get an intruder. <clears throat> I'm waiting. 
What if you dig like another floor? Like, you know, they don't know how many floors are in the Pentagon. What if, oh, so what if, I just keep, what going, if you keep down, going down? Down until I hit the water table. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, uh, I, don't think they, uh, I don't think they allow uh, soundproof torture room. ranges. What are you working on over the house? There? You already have a Fidel Castro hat. What's going on with you? I know. I don't know. That's an old video game. This is just um, extra time jokes here, people. I know. He's trying to keep Sorry. me here late is what he's doing. He's trying to make me work some OT. Some OT. And Mike, anything? I yeah, actually Mike. have a solution to, to uh, well, how you can get rid of all the guns on Why? the world, too. Giant I mean, magnets. Why would you want to do that? Why, well, <laughs> I'm just trying to keep him here. Oh, okay. oh my I just, God. I'm just trying to get him to take the base. Jesus, I, yeah, I you wanna... fucking liberals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. Uh, Mike, any plugs? Uh, no, uh, Intelligence uh, LLC for all your intelligence and security needs. Yes. Do you do spying stuff? Spying or, or stuff. Like, let's say like another what we do. You know what Jim we do? Norton, we, we, yeah. 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 Infantile. <laughs> do you do spying <laughs> stuff? Once again, a question I've been asked by my four-year-old. I fucking yeah. love Jimmy's questions. Uh, do you do spying stuff, mister? <laughs> Gee. You're like Beaver Cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, why? Now, we know what? We're, we're the world's leading global intelligence and security firm. That's fantastic. I just thought I'd point that out. Damn. Of course, I'm subjective, so if others I, may disagree. If I, uh, what's, what's, uh, what's the criteria for uh, hiring? Uh, what kind of background you need? Because when I'm done with this whole radio thing, I'd love to yeah. maybe, you know, I, put in an application. Yeah. We got a range of backgrounds, intelligence, law enforcement, like military. I'd be good in communications. Yeah, exactly. Anthony Same. wants to yeah. investigate uh, certain chat rooms. Yeah. And uh, this way he can gather photos without being arrested. <laughs> no, no, I'm working. See, what are you see, talking I've about? Got, I've got a project order from a client. See, I'm supposed crazy. to do this. Yeah. I'm working on a project with Pete Townsend and Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Gary Glitter. <laughs> I know, they always, go with, they always go with the research excuse. Yes, yeah, it's research. Of course it's research. I'm thinking about starting a nonprofit, so that's why I'm going perverts. through all these sites. Yeah, I'd love yeah, that. Yeah, like you don't know yeah, when you're going on to... Uh, I didn't want to say a website that's creepy. And put a fucking credit (laughs) card in there. Yeah, (laughs) brokendreams.com. All right, look, I'm getting out of here. Never too uh, young. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> <Memory wiped. laughs> right. how, how, do you, how do you not know when you're going on that website that there's not going to be, you know, a couple of guys in a vans problem. outside your house in ten minutes? <laughs> <A> problem. <laughs> uh, uh, Sam, yeah. you yeah. you have the after show coming up. What that's can right. we expect besides wrestling talk? Well, I'm going to try to steer Eric away from the wrestling talk to, oh, good. to broaden our horizons. Fucking tugboat. <laughs> Jeez, I see to steer him away from stuff because he's as big as a fucking carrier. Thanks, too. Yeah. <laughs> and because he eats garbage. Oh, yeah. damn. And Leave the poor it. boy alone. And contributes it, too. Uh, so uh, I'll be driving home listening to uh, Sam, as I hope you people out there uh, continue to listen until... Uh, 11 o'clock. And then listen to Ron and Fez. Just leave the channel on all day. Just leave it's it on all, all day. Just do that. Pass out to it. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much uh, for right. uh, being here. We'll see you tomorrow. Who's going to be on tomorrow with us? I think Bill's oh, back. Uh, we got Bill Burr back. back. Yeah, nice. Back. And? And? Mick Foley. Mick Foley. Mick Foley, Mick stand-up Foley. comic Mick Foley, stand-up by the way. So Mick we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about that. Are you going to pitch me something, Roland? No. <laughs> oh, no, Christ. yeah. No, of course. <laughs> 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 oh, Christ. All right, uh, kiddies, we'll see you uh, mañana.